It's showtime. Yes, it is. Barely got ready here, but I'm ready. Okay. Let me just make sure we're up on the Facebook pages. So we have a special night tonight. Um, Linda Fleming will be with us at the 8 o'clock hour. We are on both Facebook pages tonight as we are going to share the first piece of our Seeds of Hope design. It's going to be on tonight at 8 o'clock. Linda will be with us for just a few minutes as we introduce the new piece. So let's make sure we're up. It looks like everything's it looks like everything's good. We got four people in the house. That's that's good. That's good. 17. Here we go. Hello. Hello. Dinner was good. We went to Italian. I had lasagna with some Alfredo sauce on it instead of all the tomatoes. And John had fish. It was really good. But it, it took a while and that's because it's homemade food and it was really good. So we just got back and I started to unpack a box of stuff and I had forgotten all about this. I have got a bunch of Blanco. Now I was at a sale yesterday. I could not afford a piece of Blanco and here I have tubs of Blanco. So I'm very excited and this is unadvertised and we're going to go ahead and put it on and um, if it doesn't sell well, I'm going to take it to Marietta to sell with the Antique Nomad. That's how cool it is. Yeah, and that's how fast it's changed. Yes, that's how fast it, sh it changed. When I bought this Blanco and I don't know when it was. Hi, it's Melanie. It's been quite a while. Uh, when I bought the, bought the Blanco, I was able to afford it this weekend. No Blanco could be could I afford. So this is a chance to get some from me. And um, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and try to sell a decanter. Um, and like I said, I, wait till you see him. Just wait till you see him. We'll, we'll talk about that later. You did not miss Linda Fleming. She's coming on at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, Linda Fleming will come on, and we're going to introduce our first Seeds of Hope project. Um, and she's going to be on at 8 o'clock. We're going to sell a little bit before that. And you did not miss Linda. She's not going to be on long tonight because we're going to have more in the Seeds of Hope design probably in a week or 10 days. But we got our first item up and we can sell multiples of it. So we will put that on tonight. Everybody is saying hello. The gang's all here. Judy, Nancy, Polly. Let's see. Facebook, we got Judy. Hi, Judy. Mark, hey, hey. I can't believe how hot Blanco is right now. Who says they love Blanco? Jen, turn the heat down, please. I can't. There's too many. Oh, yeah, put it on 66. It'll go off and it won't Then can you cover that it'll thing up? It's blowing right in my face. It'll go off and start. Hi, Trudy. It's so hot in this back room. Who likes Blanco? I just saw it. Oh, remember, I'm not going to be able to keep track of both Facebook pages. So if you are not um, okayed by uh, Facebook, um, with StreamYard, please let me know your name because I want to be able to talk to you. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Somebody says they love Blanco. I'm beginning to love Blanco, but we will start with some smaller stuff. I am just the pre-show. Linda will be here at eight o'clock. Trudy's already in the house. Trudy's working on some projects, but we're going to introduce our first one tonight for the first time. Yeah. Um, I really think this is going to be cool. But we will get started with some little stuff. We'll probably do the Blanco after Linda comes on. We might do some small pieces. John's got everything in the other room. Who's this person? Hello there. Kay Stevens. Okay, hello. Yes, we are on the face. Rosie's Auction House Deals and Rosie's Fenton um bid to win auctions. We're in both pages and the YouTube channel. Please click the like if you're on YouTube. If you really want to get the, the most out of your experience here, it's best to cast on YouTube and you will see everything. We have really good internet tonight. We have been busy. Yes, we have. Who's me? <laughs> and the doggies are adorable. They are right now at the moment. 
They are not fighting. <laughs> they been really They've been good. really good on this trip. I have yeah, to say that. Okay, there's Libby. All right, we're going to start out with some uh, smaller pieces and uh, just whatever we unpack, we're going to sell tonight, it, it, including the Blanco. Linda will come on at eight o'clock and I think we'll just get going here. The 10 at 10 in the, uh, tomorrow morning is up in the air. It just really depends how tonight goes and what our checkout time is, which we haven't checked any of that. So they're like little siblings. Yeah, you got that right. Okay. No, 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 no. We're uh, we're right at the Pennsylvania New York line. Yep, Barcelona. Okay. I'm going to start with a weird set of numbers tonight because we had a sale this afternoon. And so my first number is going to be 130. Hello there. What are you doing back there? Hey. All right. And I did not find the pottery. <laughs> but I found the Blanco. I didn't know where you thought you were going to get it. There, you know, I'm going to have to check it because I know I got a bunch of it. All right. So this is a little holly and berry. This is a vintage Fenton piece. You'll see that on the bottom. Holly and berry in gold. It's a, it's a tall piece, and um, we're going to get started with this. Where are you, Polly? What do you think? She said she's two hours from us. No way. Yeah. It, this is beautiful. It is about four inches. I thought you mentioned floating around the internet. No, she's here someplace. And it is just gorgeous. Look at that. So start us out. This is vintage, probably from 1910, somewhere between 1910 and 1920. This is an early, early piece of Fenton, Holly and Berry, and it is in gold. I'm just coming on. Yep, I know it's a weird... It's a weird time because I, I usually come on at 8 or 7, but um, today we did 7.30. Okay, Holly and Barry, start us out. Start us out. Let's get to show on the road. Who's in California? Who who there? Who there? One person we're really worried about California. Yes, we are worried about Johnny, if anybody has seen Johnny. Really about Holly and Barry. Look at the color in this. This is Carnival. Carnival right. glass was originally made to kind of compete with Tiffany glass. That's why it has the beautiful color and sheen to it. And Carnival Glass is actually early Fenton Glass. This this particular piece is Holly and Berry. And Margie's going to start us out at five. And here we go. It is pretty. I know there is lags tonight. We've had lags all day. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Gigi's at 10. Hi, Leslie Spears. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Perfect condition. It is the Holly and Berry pattern, early Fenton. In gold. Perfect for your little tea light in there. It's, it's awesome. Go, Gigi, Nancy says. Hi, bid is $10. Remember, if you are new to the site, if you are new to the site, watch the screen for your bids. We are on three platforms tonight. There's Miss Jill, Jill Gibson. And if you are a winner tonight, we'll put you on the wheel of names. And at the end of the show, you may win free shipping. All right, $10 is bid. You want to comment on my lateness? Yes. Well, 
you know, we went to that Italian restaurant and I tell you, you don't mind waiting if the food is good and homemade. And it definitely was. So we waited a little bit longer, but it was definitely worth the wait. So Jill is in at 12. Gigi and Margie, let us know. The wheel of fortune. Yes, you will put, get your name on the wheel and we will spin it. If you are a winner, you'll get your name on there and uh, you might win free shipping. Gigi is at 13. Oh, no, Sparks. I talked to Sparks before dinner on the phone. So she she's around. She probably thinks we start at 8. Jill is at 14. I thought you were commenting on my lateness. <laughs> Jill's at 14. Gigi, Margie, let us know. Gigi is at 15. Hi, Russell. Margie's out. She's here. There she is. There's a Sparkinator. Looks like everybody's out. So I'm going to do a last chance. Remind you of our bid with Gigi. If you bought something today earlier, I think I will combine these invoices because it's the same day. Just so you know that. So if you had $7 shipping, I'm going to do a special right now. It's going to be $7 whether you bought this morning or, or this afternoon or tonight. So Gigi bought earlier and I'm going to let her continue with that shopping spree today. Okay. And we are going to go ahead and sell it. And it is sold to Gigi for 15. Okay. There's candy. I've got such a hash of stuff here. What I'm going to do next is I have two covered dishes and they are carnival and we are going to do choice. And we are indeed. Let me move stuff around. I got a lot of little stuff here. Okay. All right. You're welcome. Hi, Sherry Crater. There's Paula. Okay. Choice. Carnival. I think these are, they're I'm going to call them covered, covered dishes. I think they're um, candies. They might be sugars. And you're going to get your choice. And here we go. This is the first one. This is Imperial Glass. And it has a rose design on it. And it also includes the rose on the top. Double handled, it is beautiful. This one be pretty with your tea light inside there. It is a, a thorny rose. That's our first choice. Our second choice is this beautiful um, tangerine. Oh, this got this has got unusual handles. It's got three handles. This has the uh, maple leaf on the side. Every handle has got a maple leaf on it. And this one will glow. And you're going to get your choice of either one. Ah, Robert Redford. I, his name's Redmond, but I call him Robert Redford. Greetings, fellow thrifters. Rosie, I went to Pinterest to look for hot dog casseroles. There are a hundred different varieties. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, can I do have a Pinterest account. I think I do. I'm going to have to go look. I guess I'll have to find one. You'll And, and now you're going to want to try it, aren't you? So you're going to get choice of the carnival candies. This one glows. John will bring his light over here and show you. And then this one is the, the thorny rose that's so popular with imperial glass. And you're going to get your choice of either one of these. And we are dealing with quite a lag tonight. So I just, I'm going to stick with you and just kind of wait. And here we go. $20 is bid with Mary. We are anxiously awaiting Linda Fleming in 15 minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Oh my goodness! We'll just do the um, look. Look at the look at the orange on there. It glows cadmium. Oh wow! Yeah, that really. Glows. 
Look at that. Beautiful. It actually looked pretty good, but Robert's not a normally a hot dog person. Oh my gosh, it didn't sound good to me at all when I first when I first was told about it. And then when I had it, and it's an, a very inexpensive meal to make, and I'm telling you what, it's good. We were talking about that this afternoon. Hot dog casserole. I was, I was, I thought somebody might have a recipe. Mary Hogue is at twenty dollars for choice. This one's really unusual with 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 the handle like this and the the, I mean the finial top that looks like that, and then the three handles that have the maple leaves. And then this one is the thorny rose, and this one's imperial glass. Mary Hogue is at twenty dollars. This will be for choice. I'm going to do a last chance. Dexy, what are you doing? Okay. Do okay, Mary is at 20. 50 peeps in the house. You're ready to, to hear from Linda, huh? Roxy's at 22. We will have Linda in for about 15 minutes to show you our new piece, and then we will continue with the sale tonight. We have a lot of good stuff. Um, I left my cord home to charge my uh, battery here, although, John, there's my cord right there. Is that my cord? This is your cord right here. No, I think it's right there. I've been looking at it right there. Pick it up. The black one. Is that my computer cord? No, no. Over there. Oh, my God. I brought it. Uh, Mary Hogs at 25. I have it. You know why I didn't recognize it? I took the yellow thing off the top. Oh, we're set to go all night now. Mary Hogue is at 25. Uh, Roxy, let me know. And John's got his corn for, uh, phone charger. Roxy's at 26. Super cheap meal. Boxed all gratin potatoes, sliced hot dogs, and green beans and bake in the oven. Wow, John. Did you hear that? Super cheap. Boxed all gratin potatoes, sliced hot dogs, and green beans and bake it in the oven. We should do something like that. We should have... Um, some kind of thing that we come on and we, we give um, cost-saving tips on stuff like that. That should be our first project. Green beans, gross. <laughs> Polly sounds like me. <laughs> Mary Hogue is in at 28. Roxy, let us know if you're in or out. Mary Hogue's at 28. Roxy is at 30. He, wa he wants to show you his, his fish he got. We are not bidding on this. Is that not a cool fish? I know that's not for sale. Not for sale. But it's kind of cool. We're Anything with cheese is good. I agree. Okay, Mary Hogue is out. And we're going to sell it to Roxy. So, Roxy, you let us know which one you would like. The rose. What kind of fish is this, maybe? Morano. Okay. The rose or the maple leaf. Yeah, we have some really nice stuff that we are going to take with us to uh, Marietta, Ohio. A lot of Morano glass that we're going to have in a sale with the Antique Nomad. He's going to sell on um, the Tuesday that he's there, and I'm going to guest sell with him. Um, and... Uh, I got some I got some really cool stuff. Okay, Roxy, let me know if you would like the rose. She takes the maple leaf. Okay. And our backup bidder is Mary. Would you like the other one, Mary? That's okay. We got plenty of people in here. It's a cool fish, I know. No, I can't. No, I can't take anybody. Okay, so our backup is Mary Hogue, and we'll see if she wants it. And Mary Hogue takes the rose. All right.
I have to write everything down really carefully when I'm, when I'm traveling. So it takes a little time, but we'll get it done correctly. German fried potatoes is good too. Homemade sauerkraut is the best. Oh, I don't care for sauerkraut. John likes it though. Okay, so I am just the show starter for Linda. She's coming in with one item. We're going to explain the Seeds of Hope project. And um, we're going to put that up. And then we're going to sell Blanco and Art Glass and Carnival Glass all night tonight. All right, this is our next item. I love this pattern. This Yes, this is indeed Fenton. Very hard to find compote. And this design is seldom seen. And this is going to be 132. Wayne Van Sickle, where you been? Number 132. Start us out where you may. $7 shipping today. <laughs> yes, good. Okay, so this pattern is definitely different. It's definitely different for Fenton. You, you see this mold a lot, but you don't always see this pattern. And I hope you can see it. It's very intricate, very detailed, and it is just gorgeous in this style of compote. Another beautiful item to make a light out of with a tea light. And we'll start it out wherever you want to. Cece is gonna start us in at 20, and here comes the music. Time flies, we're almost ready for Linda. Hi, Christine, I see your bid, but Candy beat ya. This is number 132. Isn't that a pretty color, John? The, I mean, the pattern in this. It's tiny little intricate diamonds that make the pattern. CC Collins. She's in at $20. Excuse the chaos tonight. We have animals everywhere. Where's mine? Behind you. He's right behind me. He is. I call Bailey my Velcro because he sticks to me like glue. Candy Collins is in at $20. Very hard to find this pattern. I've only seen a couple pieces in it, but it's very pretty. Candy is in at $20. Christine, let us know. I think we'll sell one more piece and then we'll have Linda come in. So Linda, if you're watching, if you want to go into the green room, sweet, sweet red chow chow is good hot dogs. I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, my mom. It, it, I never had anything like it. Yesterday. No. Christine, I see you're attempting to bid, so we'll wait for you. Made from pure cabbage. Candy is in at 20. We're waiting for Christine. I see she started the bid, so I want to make sure that we don't cut her off. Candy's at $20. This is 132. There's Linda. Christine's at 22. Linda, I see you in the green room, so as soon as you get yourself situated, just give me a thumbs up. Okay. All right, <laughs> she's quick. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll bring Linda in after this. As long as we're, we've got good internet, everything's going good. We'll bring her in after this. All right, Christine's at 22. So we are waiting for Candy. Candy is out. Okay, we did a last chance. Christine is in at 22. Remember, when I first started today, I said, with the exclusion of our um, special edition item, if you bought this afternoon, then um, I will continue the $7. So I won't charge you a couple extra dollars for, for this sale. It'll all go under one. It's all going to be invoiced under one. Okay. So I think Christine bought earlier today. It is. So no matter what she buys tonight, it's still going to be $7 shipping. And she gets a lovely compote, number 132. 
And it's pretty. What's that design? I don't know. I, I've only seen that a couple times. And it's so pretty. I like the big It's kind of like it. Okay, so we have those two. I kind of like that orange peel. Okay. Cool. Man, is that neat. Yes. So as long as we have Linda here, let's see what Robert has to say first. There were recipes with cream corn, no corn, sweet corn, cornbread. Did your mom put corn? No, she didn't. No, she didn't put cornbread mix in. She put mashed potatoes on top like a shepherd pie. But almost all included cheese. Yes. Yeah, she put cheese. Yes. Yeah, okay, with with could you put something over that? Without further ado, we're going to bring Linda in. We're going to talk about the seeds of hope, and we're going to see the first project here. So um, I'm going to get her in here, and let's see. Hey, Linda. Hi. <laughs> oh. So anyway, we're going to tell you, everybody, this is Linda Fleming. And she is one of our Fenton co-op artists. And um, she worked at Fenton for a very long time off and on. And we've been working on a project together. First, <laughs> Linda, we're dying to see what movie you saw this afternoon. And did you like it? Let's be movie critic Linda Fleming is in the house at the moment. <laughs> it was called City of Hope, right, Tom? City of Hope? Yeah. No, City of what? Hidden City. Hidden, the, the Lost City. Lost uh -huh. City. And it had... Um, Brad Pitt briefly and um, Sandra Bullock. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and I did like it. You did like it? I did like it, yes. Well, it was called City of Hope? No, I was mixing that up with our 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 name. Oh no. <laughs> you just said that I said it. <laughs> no, the Lost City. The Lost City. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're going to tell uh, everybody about the thought behind our project and where we're going with it. And, okay. um, cause some people, this is the first they may be hearing about it. Okay. So, um, whoops, everybody at home knows that we have a Rosie's co-op with our artists and what a co-op is means we all work together on projects and somehow they, everything comes together and meshes correctly because there's so much um, togetherness and working together and everything seems to, to just mesh. We, the three of us are like that. And so, um, one morning, um, Trudy, I was actually on the phone with Trudy and we were brainstorming and talking and, um, I, we had, we're discussing a little bit about, um, the Iranian people and I was, we were just thinking about things and, uh, all of a sudden I started to think about the sunflower being their national flower. And so I began to think about the sunflower as being this beautiful flower that uh, bloomed above the garden with its big, um, its big massive head of flowers and how it was so beautiful. And it, it followed the sun and it was the tallest, most majestic flower in the garden. And then I thought about the people of Ukraine and I thought about how they have been so full of pride for their country and strength and being relocated all over the place. And I was having a hard time dealing with seeing this on the news every day. So this helped me, this story helped me deal with all the grief that I was seeing on TV. Yeah. And I thought about, remember Linda? Mm -hmm. And and so I thought about the sunflower and how when it starts to die, it just doesn't die. The sun, it doesn't, the, it, it's dark. This It doesn't follow the sun. The petals start to fade. But when the petals mm -hmm. fade, that's when the seeds start to fall. And the animals pick up the seeds and the birds pick up the seeds and they fly and the seeds go all over the countryside. And so I thought about it and I thought wherever those seeds are planted, that beautiful flower sprouts back up and has that large, beautiful head of petals and mm -hmm. it follows the sun and it beautifies the countryside wherever it goes, which mm -hmm. is kind of like the way I feel about the people that are being relocated with this, with this awful war and how they're going to shine wherever they are planted because yes. the strength of their people and the pride. So Trudy and I talked about it and then we talked with Linda and Linda said, why don't we call it Seeds of Hope? So we decided to do that and we're incorporating this, our projects with blue backgrounds mostly or blue and yellow and the sunflower, right, Linda? Yep. 
So this, right. yes. So this project is, I kind of had it in mind for everybody that is sitting at home watching, thinking there's, there's, you know, just feeling depressed about everything. Um, it helped me when I thought about what was going on in this way. And it, the artist, um, it helped them to paint this. This was our way of helping. This is our way of making um, it seem okay. Or, you mm -hmm. know, I don't know. I'm trying to get it out straight. But, to, make, but, to help us feel better. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it, in a we, it made us look at things in a different way and, and gave us hope that these people are strong and they'll they'll overcome. So we decided to paint this. Now, there a portion of our proceeds are going to go to UNICEF. We decided as uh, the three of us together that we are going to donate to UNICEF. So we have our first piece tonight and Linda's going to show it. Um, and uh, Linda, do you have it sitting right there? Yep. OK, let's go ahead and show it. And Linda, you can describe it. Okay, okay, this is a little sand carved bear. <laughs> Echo's going to bark through this. So we, we had these bears blasted because they were shiny. And mm -hmm. you can see it much better when you paint on blasted wear. So we call these snow bears after we blast them because they kind of look like they're frosted with snow. Yes. So what I did was I tried to create a sky which the birds would be in where they drop this drop, whatever, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Would, reseeds and so I put a little bit of blue on his head for the sky and a little bit of blue right here on his chest but there's not a lot of room so this is pretty small yeah and those, that's the, the colors birds. of the flag yep the colors of the flag and the but you can see the little tiny birds so on his head is a bigger sunflower oh, and I'll turn pretty. around so you can see and then you can see a little bit of the sky I tried to make it kind of subtle so it didn't look like a big blob of blue. You can see his ears are sky and there's little mm -hmm. birds flying and the sunflowers like this one over here is like starting to droop. Uh -huh. And so it would drop the seeds and then down below you'd see a plant growing. So this one's this one over here also is drooping. Uh huh. So that would be a stage of where it's going to start dropping the seeds if the birds haven't already eaten them. And then down below is like some regrowth. Oh, that's so cool. So this, this, when you look at this bear, that this is meant to, to help you deal with what's going on right now and help you know that, that um, it, they're going to, wherever they go, whatever country they're really relocated to, or even if they, they eventually come back into their own country, they are going to bloom and they are going to just um, be beautiful wherever they, wherever they are. Mm. So the, the, instead of the rows on the bottom of these pieces, they have sunflowers. And that's so that you know that they are from the Seeds of Hope collection. And mm -hmm. that is what this bear is. So he is, he is our first piece. And he's going to be limited production. And we're going to go ahead and donate uh, some proceeds from these sales to UNICEF. We, de we decided to donate to UNICEF because there's so many orphans that are being created through all of this. Mm -hmm. And so we thought that would be a wonderful charity. Yeah. So these these bears will be $75. Right now we have a limit of, I think, 20 of them available. We may have more, but right now we have 20. Mm -hmm. And these are going to be 75. And if you would like one, you can place your order. And um, Linda is going to make them. Will they have a date on them? We haven't thought about that. Is that something that you, you would want? There's not a lot of room down there. All right we might be able to put just the year and I, I put the colors of the flag on his feet as you can see yellow okay. and blue on his pads that's cool okay so if you would like one put your name down there linda is showing you the sample and this is what they will look like the blue mm -hmm. and yellow with the sky and the flower incorporate the flag of ukraine and um it's just a beautiful piece and it, it when when you see it you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna think hope that's that's what we're all hoping that it right. brings about okay right. so mary hogue is going to take one <clears throat> mark gibson is going to take one they are 75 dollars, and like i said um 
right now this is our sample so linda will have to make them uh but she's she's pretty quick at it how many how long do you think it will take you to have these made um i'll probably have them in a week i started them today and we actually have 19 okay. i counted them so we well, have 19. i got a couple more i got a couple more i can send okay. you okay Okay, so what I did today, because it's difficult to paint and not stick your fingers in it when you're doing front and back. So what I did today, I had an idea that I would do everything on the front except for the blue sky. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've actually got them in the kiln right now. And they're firing the front. Okay. That way, when I go to do the back, I can hold it in my hand instead of doing this for 40 minutes. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to tell you, too, with every bear that you get, you will get a pack of sunflower seeds to plant in your yard. Yes. So that is part of it, too. So when you plant those sunflowers this summer, you will continue to feel that hope. So you're yeah. going to get the bear and a packet of sunflower seeds to pack in your to plant in your yard. OK, so we have Mary Hogue, Mark Gibson, Polly. Um. You're only seeing one site, so I'm going to have to do it. Denise Sparks. Sparky gets one. Uh, Tammy Vandermolen. Okay. Let me see what else. And the sunflower on the bottom, the, we have, we, have de we decided not to put the rose on the bottom. These special products or uh, pieces will have the sunflower. Okay. So I got Tammy V, Susan Perry. They are $75. Did you get Debbie Harper? Nope. Uh, Dolores gets one. Uh, Debbie Harper gets one. And, and we won't bill you until they're done. So it'll be 10 days to two, probably 10 days out, a week to 10 days. Mm -hmm. um, Jamie Haynes gets one. She knows Linda's pain. Um, who is Cindy? Cindy Spencer, is that you, Cindy? Yes, I have Cindy for number 10, and I, I think that's Cindy Spencer. Joel gets one. Uh, Christine Smith gets one. You guys are wonderful. You guys are just wonderful. Candy Collins gets one. Kathy Goats. And I hope I hope you take comfort in the story like we have. Fifteen GG. It's it's not really a story. It's a thought. It's a thought. Bob and Vicky. Libby. Libby. Okay, so we're on eighteen. Um, Peggy, they are seventy-five when they are completed. And you you're also going to get a pack of sunflower seeds with each bear. Russell takes one. No, he's just telling. Oh, okay. He's just telling. All right, I see what you guys are doing. Okay, so the last one I have is Libby. We're at 17, so we are almost sold out of these. So, uh, Peggy, I don't know if you wanted one or not. And we had thought we had thought about the Red Cross, but we were really we are really um, we really decided as a group to go with UNICEF. Will you number them? <clears throat> Um, we, we have to talk about that, the three of us. And I think the three of us talked about that and decided not to, but I'm not sure. We'll, we'll get together again and talk and talk about numbering them. Okay. Peggy Mulford. And Linda, I'm going to take one from you. Okay. So I'm going to take the last one. Okay. Now we're going to take standbys because I think I have more bears that I can send her. So if you want another one, this is standby. And um, if we have the crystal bears, we will definitely get them. So if Jill. I know we do. Okay. John says he's got a few more bears. So okay. Jill, you're on standby, but I think I have, I know I have a couple more. I, I agree with it you. might just take a little longer. Okay. I think some days is a good idea. So let's look at the back one more time and see that see this there is a lot of painting in this. You can see the stages of the life of the sunflower and how the seeds drop and the birds pick the seeds up and there's more hope and more new growth and the same beautiful flower comes up again. 
Then the capture with the eyes. Sometimes. Oh yeah, the, the eyes, eyes are beautiful, are Linda. And the, and oh, the, thank you. And sunflowers are my favorite. I grow them every year. I grow probably an acre of them. Yeah. And I feed the birds. I've done it for years. And people will stop in front of the house and take pictures of them. Mm -hmm. And what's so neat is, as the sun goes, the heads follow. It they do. The day. In they the do. In the morning, they start in the east. And at night, they're in the west. That's okay. So Russell has six or eight that he, six or eight bears that he has. Russell, we may take you up on that if you want to. If you want to donate some bears, we, we thought about that because we thought people are going to want to have their crystal bears maybe donated or adapted to the project. Um, it would probably be a credit in the group of some kind. We haven't thought that far ahead. So, um, okay, Chrissy would like one. Chrissy, Chrissy, you've got one. Let me put you down. Uh, we thought about putting the flag on for Ukraine, but this this is just this is just a symbol of hope so we want it to be kind of um, a timeless thing mm -hmm. but if you've been through what we're going through now then you'll remember that you know what what the story was and how it started but it's it's just really neat okay anyone else and these two colors are for the flag on the paws yeah and the blue so rather than paint the flag on there i thought i'd represent it that way Okay. Awesome. Because there's not a lot of room on here. <laughs> yes. He's pretty full. I had to be able to touch him to load him in the kiln. So I had to leave like a bare spot here. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> a bare <laughs> spot here and here. So I could lower him down in the kiln because if I'd have grabbed his ears, I would have smeared the blue. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. So that's why yes. I decided to do it in two stages this time. Right. And I want you guys to know too, because you're giving us comments and suggestions, please feel free to PM me if you have any comments or suggestions and we will bring it to our co-op to discuss because you you at home are part of our co-op too. I mean, we all work together with this um, and this is our first project. So if you have an idea as far as, you know, Rose, or Russell, if you have six bears and you want me to send you a label so you can get them to the girls, um, we can do that. Um, you know, however, however you want to do it, if you have suggestions about the date, then just send that to me and we may consider that. Hello, Aaron. Okay. Anybody else? And we will probably have Linda on the 10 at 10 sometime this week to show the morning crew. And um, Linda and, and uh, Trudy are working on bigger projects on uh, mm -hmm. Blue Overlay. And... So we are going to have another sale that will be more of an auction format. And that will be sometime, uh, probably this time next week. Okay, 24 is Cato. And we're also doing the paperweights. Yes, we have paperweights and we, we have praying, praying kids. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, the artists are being totally original with their designs on this. So um, that's how we're going to do it. Okay. I think who wants a bear Facebook user you have to tell me who you are I can't see you oh they're so cute Linda you did such a wonderful job thank you okay proceeds part of the proceeds of the bear will go to UNICEF and you will also get a pack of sunflower seeds with each bear you purchase for your yard this year okay um, you have to tell me who you are. Debbie, Debbie Mize. Okay, Debbie Mize gets one. These are on standby. We have to get bears for the last four people that wanted orders, but Jen says he's got some extra bears. And if you're thinking about this afterwards or watching the rewind and you would like one, please, please just comment below in the comments or PM me um, and we will take care of you. You got Cindy Conference and uh, Susan Perry Johnson, right? Yep. You get Debbie Benoit. Yep. Okay. All right. Great job, Linda. Yeah, Linda, you that's wonderful. You did a wonderful job, Linda. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay. Well, I think I think that's all we need for tonight. I have your list. So oh, you can, okay, good. <laughs> I've got it written down so you can get to work, Linda. Okay. 
And that Excellent. is thank you, everybody. Thanks yeah, for the thank support. You. Yes, thank you. And like I said, if you've got some crystal bears that that uh, you would like, I, I don't I, we haven't talked about how to expand this yet. But if you have some crystal mm -hmm. bears um, and you have a price that you want for them or um, you want to donate them for credit on something, just let us know. We'll work with you because we're mm -hmm. believe it or not. We're looking for crystal bears now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if they're not blasted, we'll need to have them blasted. Yeah, but we can do that. That's that's yeah. our that's our part of the deal. Yeah. All right. right. So Linda, we'll see you sometime this next week for coffee. Okay. And, and um, how long do you think these will take for you to? to I'll make? probably have the other side. They're like I said, they're firing right now for so the front, and I will get the back painted and mm -hmm. um, fire them. You know, as soon as I do, I'm just doing production style on the turntable. So it's, it goes faster that way. And mm -hmm. I can be more precise by doing only the front and then only the back. Okay. So All probably right. a week. Okay. Sounds good. Um, and we will ship these bears out to you too. We're going to, we're going to um, only send the bears out to you for $3 shipping. So um, we're trying to give you a break on the shipping and it's going to go first class and $3 is all the shipping is on those. So we just really appreciate the support. <laughs> awesome. Okay, Linda. Awesome job, girl. Nice talking okay. to you tonight. Okay. See you later. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay, great. I moved my camera. Somehow I moved my camera. There we are. Ah, oh, that was cool. Thank you, everybody. We really appreciate that. The, the artists, we're, we were so excited to have something that we could. Well, Linda put the uh, on the other stuff. Going through. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. All right, we'll get started here. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, you guys, for uh, supporting that project. Okay. I'm going to read the names really quickly because if I miss somebody, I do not want to miss you. And I think I got everybody. So I'm going to read the names one time really quickly. And if I missed you, just let me know. Mary Hogue, Mark Gibson, Polly, Sparky, Tammy V, Susan, Dolores, Debbie, Jamie, Cindy, Joel, Christine, Candy, Kathy G, Gigi, Bob and Vicki, Libby, Peggy, me, Jill, Chrissy, Cato, and Debbie. Okay. All right. If I missed your name, just let me know. Okay, we're going to continue on with the sale. Oh, that makes me so happy. Everybody's going to get a little bear. Okay, here we go. We're going to continue on with um, what we were doing before. Blanco Art Glass, Fenton Carnival Glass. Uh, just a general sale tonight. Here we go. And we are on 133. Didn't they turn out beautiful? Oh, okay. And here we are. Um, this is Fenton. We can only sell the amount of kids that we have. So we are using the blue satin blue. And um, we have several sets, but they're going to be limited in numbers. All kids. The yeah. praying kids. Yep. Yeah. I'm really glad so exactly how many we do have. I don't know how many the girls have, but I, I think they might have eight to ten, ten sets. Probably. Um, but anyway, we will we will show them to you. The girls are working on them. Um, Trudy's got some bigger pieces. Uh, and, uh, we've, we've got some birds and not, we got We got a few things, not tons of stuff, but we have a few things. Okay. So 133 is the carnival swung vase. Look at the crimson. That's how big they are. My gosh, they gotta be, some of them gotta be almost two inches. This is a Fenton piece and it's, um, I don't know what they call this, but it's cobalt blue. It's kind of like April showers, but it's not, it's, it's, it's rounded. Um, where the little dots are, but it's just it's just a nice face. This one is about eight inches tall and it is beautiful with its cobalt, its cobalt base. Real pretty color. 
So start us out and we will go. Do you, did we put that tape measure back in there? So just to make sure I'd like to, I'm just kind of estimating with the, with the size on this one. Thank you very much. Let me go ahead and measure it. Yep, 10, 10, it's almost 11 inches. The praying kids aren't done yet. They will be. We'll have a sale dedicated to um, Seeds of Hope sometime in the future, probably a week, week to 10 days out, and we'll have some praying kids. So this is a Fenton Carnival swung base with a cobalt base. And we're going to start it out wherever you want to start it out. It's 11 inches tall. And Susan Perry is going to start us out at 20. Thank you, Susan. And here we go. We're, we're back in the saddle here. $20 with Susan. 133 Again, if you were here this morning or this afternoon, we are going to continue your $7. So you will be charged nothing tonight. Oh, isn't that pretty? How's the, how's the picture on the, is it too light? Yes, it is beautiful. Susan is at 20. Jill's at 22. We have some Fenton pieces too tonight, including the legendary fashion mirror. Mm -hmm. Is that? Did you clean that up a little bit? Yeah. Okay, great. Jill's at 22. Susan, let us know. And if you know this carnival pattern by Fenton, please let us know. Isn't that pretty? Susan Perry is at 24. Are we putting up Yes. Yeah. All right. You didn't say anything. It's your tone of voice that makes them bark. No, apparently like this. Okay, bud. Okay, Susan Perry's at 24. Oh, sorry about the dogs. They're part of the clan tonight. Susan Perry is at 24. Jill, let us know if you're in or out. Jill's in at 25. 11 inches tall. What I love about this piece is the large ruffles. Look at that. The scrimps are just... They're all like at least an inch. Some of them look two inches. Jill's at 25. Susan, he is demanding hot dog casserole. I know. Man, you got some nice stuff out. I have some beautiful stuff out tonight. Wow. Okay. It's really different. Oh, different glass than you have. Susan Perry is in at 26. I cannot tell you how excited I was because we were at a sale and there was no Blanco that I could buy. I couldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. And I went and unloaded some of the stuff from an estate I got, and it's all Blanco. Jill is in at 30. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Susan Perry's at 31. 31 is bid. Rustic Hobnail, I bet you're right, Candy. I'll bet you are right. Susan Perry is at 31. Jill's at 32. Well, rustic, rustic, rustic hobnail, something like that. You're, I think you're right. Jill's at 32. So let us know, Susan. 35 with Susan Perry. I was digging out in that trailer for stuff, and I'm telling you what, I about froze my hands off, John. It is cold. 35 with Susan Perry, 36 with Jill. The wind is just, it's got a bite in it. I mean, it's colder now than it was sometimes, in, you know, back in February. I know it, because it's got moisture in it or something. Of course, it comes right off here. It comes right off Lake Erie, and it just blows. It's oh, twenty-four no. degrees. Yeah, I, yeah. You're right, Polly. It's cold. 
All right, Susan Perry is in at 38. You can't believe I have that, could you? I can't either. 38 with Susan Perry and um, Jill is out. So I'm gonna do a last chance. And we have 133. Uh, this is the Fenton Swung Vase. Got my finger with the electric, electric hedge trimmer and my dad's use yesterday paying for it today. Oh, oh Cece. No. Ouch. Oh, Cece. I often wonder because I use those too and I've often just thought, man, you slip or do something, oh it's really crazy. Oh my goodness. Man, it's nasty trouble. Okay. Um, I'm going to do these two pieces of Blanco. And we are going to do choice. We are going to do choice on these two pieces of Blanco. These are small ones. And like I said, I'm going to give, I'm going to give it a shot tonight. Um, I really thought about holding on to some of the Blanco and I still do uh, for Marietta when George comes because we're going to have a sale together. But I was so surprised by it. I said, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just put it up. So number 134 is mid-century. And here is the first piece. Look at that. In this beautiful tangerine color. And it has even the tangerine crust. This, this glows cadmium. So you're going to have that as a choice. Or this one. This one has the orange on the bottom, and this one also glows. And they are in crockle glass. Mid-century, the hottest, hottest thing out there right now. Just gorgeous. I love the base of this. It is square, but it also kind of has indents all the way around. It's not really a pinch vase, but it's beautiful shape. It looks like almost like a test tube. <laughs> so start us out. And here is our number 134. Mark did that before. Oh, man. You get your choice. The color is so awesome. This is more, this one is more like an amberina because it's cranberry with the yellow. Um, but this one glows magnesium. And then this one is the tangerine. And um, they are just mid-century to the max. Start us out. I will sell at least one. We'll see how it goes. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, John, this is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I, like, I, I like the, I mean, the simplicity of it, but the colors are just so Yes, these are investment they, pieces. They, just pop. they, they have amazing. increased in value so much in the last six months. It's unbelievable. Nine inches tall on the big one, eight inches on the small one. And mostly it's the influencers uh, that are selling it right now. And it's just hot. So we'll sell at least one. 15 on, this, on either one of these. We have 17 with Robert. Good investment pieces now. You can pick them up and um, they're just going to they're just going to increase in value. Take my make take my word for it. They are. We have 17 with Robert. Yes, um Cheryl, I will put you on the list. We have to make sure we have enough blanks, but you will be on standby and I can pretty much say we can probably get you one. So Cheryl, I'll add you to the list. All right. I will catch up with your numbers here in just a second. Okay. So let me go up and, and catch the bids. So Mary is at 18. Robert's at 20 for choice. Okay. And there's a lot of bidding going on. Mary's at 22. Robert's at 24. So when you have a lag, it's really important if you're done bidding to let us know you're done. 
and that will help us move along because otherwise I, I wait and with the lag sometimes I'm waiting 60 seconds for a bid or 30 seconds for a bid. Robert's at 24. We have a lot of people bidding, so I'm gonna I'm going to um, let you guys keep at it before I do a last chance. Here is the color in the red one. If you like the red glass, the amberina type glass, here's the one for you. And these colors are so mid-century modern. And here is the tangerine one. Okay, actually, I have to say Joel came in first. I'm sorry, Joel came in first. Regina's out. So Robert and Carrie and Mary. <laughs> Let us know if you're in or out. Joel was our first 25. Now the bidder will get the first one. And if we do decide to pass it, the backup bidder will get the second one. 27 with Robert. Linda is saying thank you for your wonder support in our Seeds of Hope project. We greatly appreciate you. Ah, makes me cry. Robert isn't at 27. Mary isn't at 30. Well, if it can bring as much comfort to you as it has to the girls and I, um, we feel we feel fulfilled by the project because that's what our objective is. Mary is at 30. Joel, I see you, but she beat you this time. Mary is at 30 for choice. Robert's at 32. Carrie's out. Thanks, Carrie, for what you did do. Robert's at 32. Um, Mary, Joel, let us know. We'll do a last chance. And Joel's now at 35. Joel is at 35. Robert's out. Okay. And I need to hear from Mary. We just need to hear from Mary. Mary is out. Okay, we're going to go ahead and sell it to Joel, and Joel, you can have your choice, and you can take either one or both. Just let us know. We'll put your name on it, and we'll probably put some more pieces up. As long as, the, as, long as uh, we have a fair price, we'll put some more Blanco up. So just let us know which one you'd like, the tangerine or the, the amberina. And while he's thinking, our backup was Robert. So we'll see what he decides to do. Just let us know, Joel. The yellow squarish one. Okay, you got it. Um, and we have this one left, Robert, if you would like it, the amberina. This one also glows. Tangerine Blanco goes to Joel. So let us know, Robert, before we put it up for grabs. Here you go, John, if you want this one. Okay, he is going to pass. Does anyone want the um, Amberina Blanco? It's up for grabs. This is up for grabs if anybody wants it. It's a beautiful shape. It's a little wider on the bottom than it is on the top. Um, it's very mid-century, and it is up for grabs. You look. I have bittersweet colors too, but um, th this is just, this all this stuff tonight was just a surprise. I forgot all about it. Mary takes it. Okay. One thirty-four is the Amberina. Blanco. All right.
Thank you, Mary. Okay, I got a big piece of carnival here and then, then we'll work some more Blanco in. This is Fenton. This is Fenton. Look at this. This is a footed bowl. It is a carnival bowl. It is marked. Uh, it's got a little Fenton sticker on it. I think this is called, um, I, I keep thinking three flowers, but I, it is a three. I, don't, I can't remember what it is. Flower garland. That's what I'm going to call it. It's a very big footed bowl. It's got three feet. I'll measure it for you as soon as we get it started here. And this is 135. This is antique Fenton. And I will let you start it. And here it is at 10 inches across and five inches tall. Two flowers. It is called two flowers. I don't, oh, okay. I, I try to remember these things, but sometimes I don't. Here's the one flower all the way around. The second flower is right in the middle. The second flower is right in the middle. So that's why they call it two flowers. It's vintage Fenton. Has um, the three feet on the bottom that gives it a little lift. And it is in this beautiful gold. Okay, Regina is in at 10. She's going to start us out. Thanks, Regina. Look at the color. And with Carnival, that's what it's about. This is a heavy bowl. This is very early Fenton. If you're a Fenton collector, um, these Carnival pieces are some of the earliest. $10 is bid. Ten inches across. Two flowers. Deborah V. Hi, Deborah. So is the snow gone in your neck of the woods, Deborah? Sixteen, Regina. I was quite surprised to wake up this morning to an icy driveway and the snow coming down sideways. Regina is at sixteen. Deborah is at 20. Okay. I see your bid, Dolores, but Deborah beat you. Snowing here. How depressing. I know. You can see it in people's faces. They're like, really? I've got to scrape off my windows again? Really? 21 with Regina. And I talked to Sparky earlier today, and she was telling me the flowers are blooming in her neck of the woods. Snow is gone. Not here. Deborah or Dolores is at 25. Dolores is at 25. Uh, Regina's at 26. And Deborah V comes in at 27. I got some pickup pieces, John, if you want to bring those two little uh, cruets. Yeah. 61 in Washington State in beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Um, one, two, oh, three pieces. Don't trust that. The top of that. It's not flat. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. 30, 30 with Deborah. 32 with Regina. Looks like Christmas, I know. 32 with Regina. I will say the people in this area are tough when it comes to winter. They are used to it. And it usually doesn't seem to bother them. But today I saw it on their faces. They've had enough of it. Carrie's yard is full of spring flowers. Sounds wonderful. Deborah is in at 35. We're going to do a last chance. And here is our bid. So we, we need to hear from Regina. Regina comes in at 36. So Deborah, you are out at the moment. I keep moving my camera. Axelbeer, 33 
degrees in Marietta. Oh, cool. It, it is cool. Okay, 36 uh, with Regina. 37 with Deborah V. 37. So Regina, let us know. We still have active bidding, so we're going up one at a time. Beautiful piece, two flowers. I don't know what flowers they are. It looks like the middle flower is an aster, and I don't know what the other flower is. 39 with Deborah. 40, Regina. 41 with Deborah V. Waiting for Regina. Regina is out. And I'm going to go ahead and sell it. And Regina, thank you for what you did do. We appreciate it. And I'm going to go ahead and write down the winner who is Deborah. I think. Let me go make sure. Yeah, Deborah. And that's going to be. Oh, see, I put two numbers on that. Can't do that. 135. Two flowers. All right. We get teased with spring and sit outside on the patio, then force us back in again. We're all sick of it. Yep. You got that right. I don't know. I like snow. I think it's pretty. But that wind and that cold coming off that lake, I don't think that's pretty. Don't like it. 78 in Houston. 81 in Louisiana. Woo! All right, let's do our next Blanco item. We have two Blanco cruets with the bubble stoppers. We're going to sell at least one. This is number 136. And here we go. Look at this. Tangerine. Tangerine with the bubble stopper. Good Lord, goodness me. In crackle glass, this one will glow. So you have your choice of that one. Or here is the one in Amberina. And this one has the double bubble stopper too. It's a double bubble. And you can see along the edge, you have the, the beautiful yellow. It's kind of like a crest along the edge. All that will glow cadmium. And you will get your choice. Double bubble, double trouble. Your choice of Blanco. Notice the different styles. The tangerine one has a base that looks almost like a bell. And then the um, Amberina one kind of looks like a, um, a flask of some sort. So you're going to get your choice. Regina's at 20. Oh, Gigi, thank you. She says it's so wonderful to be a part of this community. We, are, we, we appreciate you, Gigi, too. Always look forward to seeing you. Seven and a half inches on the Tangerine. Six and a half on the Amberina. Double bubble. Twenty dollars. John, you want to see if these glow? They do. All right. We, no, they they should glow. This should glow. See. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they glow. Show them. The handle, the yep. top, and the handle. Look at that. That's cool. That's really cool. And this one, the handle. Yep. Yeah. And, and the little the tiny crust. Yep. Okay, 24 with Joel. 
Joel's at 24. Hi, Shelly. I see your bid. We just had Joel jump in there. So Joel's at 24. Regina and Shelly, you're both out at the moment. Carrie says she's going to Indianapolis this weekend. That's pretty cool. Shelly Gibson's at 25. Shelly, we see you fine, sweetie. You can just put your bid in. You must have registered with Steamyard because we see you fine. Regina, I see you're 25, but Shelly was in there first. Joel, you're out at the moment. So Shelly's in at 25. Regina's in at 26. Very cool. Double bubble. This red is so deep. The color is just amazing. It's so, it's such a deep red. Joel's at 28. And of course, the tangerine. And these, this is a perfect size for a windowsill. Whoops. I just clicked on somebody. I don't know what it was. Oh, it's Janet Herodine. If there's anybody in mid Michigan that is interested in China cabinets, if, if you are in mid Michigan and you are interested in China cabinets, wow. let me know. I have somebody who is wanting to sell two beautiful China cabinets and um, she is going to deal with you. So if you're in mid Michigan within a hundred miles of um, Alma, Ithaca area, oh, really anywhere, in anywhere in Michigan, Um, let us know. Regina is in at 33. So Shelly, you are out. Joel, I see you're 33, but Regina beat you. Aren't they cute, John? I like them. I think, I think, I can't imagine, I would, I would wonder what those would have brought yesterday. You know, the first things I collected when I was a kid was, was Blanco. I didn't even know it at the time. What? You know what? I still have that, I think. My lilac pitcher, my Blanco pitcher, I don't know if I sold that or not. I think I still have that very first piece, and it's Blanco. Okay, so Regina is out. Shelly's at 35. Joel, she still beat you, so we'll wait for Joel. I'm going to have to look and see. We're just waiting on Joel. Bitter will get choice with the option of taking them both. If, if the bitter doesn't, then the backup bitter will be second. It's hard to get those with the stoppers still in them. Oh, the, yeah. Be because really, um, back there was a, a, a time period in between. They were popular in between the time they were collectible. You know, I mean you wouldn't think that these matched unless you really knew Blanco and you, you don't see them with the stopper. Joel's at 38 waiting for Shelly. I mean, how many times have you just seen this? Because some auctioneer, some family member uh, did not realize that they went together. Joel's at 38, just waiting for Shelly. Okay. Okay, Joel, you are the winner. Just let me know which ones you would like. They are investment pieces. You got that right. The Amberina or the Tangerine. And Shelly, you'll be the backup. We got good deals and you're good deals. Yes. We will pass our deals on to you. We, it's it's kind of like the economy now. We we couldn't go back and buy these Blanco pieces now. Oh, uh, people found out. Yeah, the they've they've inflated in value. <laughs> Just in the six months. Okay, Melanie. I, I I'm sorry, Melanie and Joel. They would like the Amberina one. So they take this one. 
And our backup bidder is uh, Shelly Gibson, if you would like the tangerine. If not, we'll, we'll put it up for grabs. You're welcome, Melanie. So 136 is. Tell me when you want to do this basket too, right? Okay. Amberina Cruet. So you're getting the Amberina Cruet, but you got the tangerine um, vase. Okay, you just like the shape of that. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you knew. Okay, so Shelly does not want this one. If anybody, wait, wait, oh, wait. Nope. Uh, if this one is up for grabs, if you want it, and that's tangerine. You're welcome. You're welcome. Tangerine is my favorite color. That is so beautiful. And the kids like this. There, there's a whole group of collectors coming up, and they love this color. Okay. Okay, we got more pickups, Jen. I'm not. I'm not going to put it up again. This. This will be going with me to um, Marietta. I'm going to show it to George. So last chance on the tangerine. Double bubble. Double bubble. Okay. I got another piece of carnival I'm going to put up, and then we'll start doing some art class. Okay. Look at this. This one is Fenton, and this is the lion, the carnival lion. Um, the the um, cruet is $38, Regina. So this is number 137. So Fenton did these carnival pieces in the lion and the panther. And this one is the lion. So you, you guys are leaving me to watch Walking Dead? What? Tape it. <laughs> Tape it. <laughs> Walking Dead? What is that? Walking Dead. I don't watch TV. I'm I'm I I've told you before, I live in my own bubble. Okay. So this has got the lion on them, and Fenton did both the lions and the panthers. And this one is is got the lions and so collectible. You just don't see them very often. Look at the flowers in the base. Sorry, I love Daryl. Daryl must be. Is, is Daryl the big Walking Dead person, or is he the main Walking Dead person? He probably Dead. Oh come on, Walking Dead is awesome. Zombies? What? Uh, what am I missing in life? I, I guess I don't know. Yeah, I was I was zombie a zombie after a twelve hour auction yesterday. Uh, see, crazy cat ladies in at twenty. This piece is seven inches across, and it has the. What's interesting about this is it has the lion, but it also has the Fenton orange tree. So the lion is under the Fenton orange tree. You have to watch it, Heidi. You'll be hooked. Are you kidding me? Where do I watch it at? I mean, I, I, I really am so far behind society in general. <laughs> Are you laughing, John? He's saying that's true. I may watch Walking Zombies or whatever the heck you're talking about in 20 years. <laughs> I don't do anything that's current. Not Walker, not the Walkers, Netflix. Oh, what's I, I barely know what Netflix is. You got it. 
Deborah, I see you at 25. I see a $35 bid, but I don't, okay. I don't see anyone in between. So I don't know if we're getting a hitch in our giddy up. I don't want you to jump bids. I don't see anybody between 25 and 35, Deborah. So what I'm going to do, well, now I'm, I'm seeing bids coming in. Okay. It's a series, like a ton of series. Very good. Hmm. So if you look on the back of this plate, I, I don't know what this pattern is on the back of it. Crazy Cat Ladies at 40. But that is on the back side. And then you have the lions under the orange tree on the front. So Crazy Cat, Cat Lady is in at 40. Well, how does my new lamp look under the... Deborah is in at 40. Our uh, Crazy Cat Lady is in at 40. Regina and Deborah are out. Now Regina is at 42. You wish Fenton made a piece with Daryl's face on it? What are you talking about? Is Daryl like a, the scariest zombie or something? John, we're going to have to watch an episode of this to see what the heck they're talking about. Deborah's at 45. Okay, Regina's out. So we need to hear from Crazy Cat Lady. Oh, Daryl is the zombie killer's zero. Daryl is the zombie killer hero. Of course. <laughs> you thought to shoot him in the head. Yeah. How do you kill a zombie? Do you like put a stake through his heart or something? Well, they're already but, dead. I know. How do you stop a zombie? Maybe I shoot their head off. Oh, God. Fifty dollars $50 with Crazy Cat Lady. Night, Polly. Crazy Cat Lady is in at 50. No brain. He kills zombies. That's how he survives. But how do you kill a zombie? With his bow and arrow? Oh, he's got... Oh. <laughs> oh, you guys. That would be possible if the arrows are stumped. I know. I buy it. I think that's a vampire. <laughs> Me too, Carrie. I'm with you. It sounds like a vampire. Unless they got some kind of special zombie poison on the tip. All right, let's get down to business here. 50 Crazy Cat Lady. Deborah, are you in or out? The difference between the zombie and the vampire. The vampires want your blood. Zombies want everything. What do zombies do with everything? They eat you. They suck your brains out or something? They eat you. They eat you. They're hungry. Apparently, zombies are very hungry. 55 with Deborah. <laughs> Deborah's at 55. I'm going to look this up at the sale tonight. Believe me. We're losing our crowd because they're all going to watch The Walking Dead. <laughs> See, a crazy cat lady's in at 60. When forced to fend for yourself, you realize how just how cruel people can be. Kill them through the head. Watch a trailer on YouTube. It's been out for years. <laughs> I tell you. I'm not current. <laughs> Deborah, let me know. <laughs> okay, crazy cat ladies in at 60. We're waiting for Deborah. My arm's getting tired. Lions under the orange tree. Crazy cat ladies in at 60. We're waiting for Deborah. I'm sorry. I talk too much. 
brains laugh online. <laughs> Just waiting for Deborah. I'm going to make sure she didn't stay out and I didn't miss her. Nope. Deborah, just let us know. Deborah V. You guys are nuts. Okay. And that is sold to Crazy Cat Lady. A fellow Michigander. Lion Fenton. Oh, please write where I can read it. You're welcome. Okay, we're going to move on to 138. And what we have now is Choice Egg Paperweights. And some of these are Glass Eye Studio. So I will show you the ones and we'll bid on those. And then we'll put up some more Blanco and some more Art Glass. But here we go, number 138. It's Choice Studio Art Egg. And I'll let you start them out. These are good ones. The art glass that we have is, is um, very a very, very good collection. Now this is these are all signed. This one. I think it says Lynn Burke, but I don't know. But you can you can see the signature on this one. This is the same quality as the Glass Eyes Studios, um, maybe even better. And th this is a, a, just a gorgeous egg. It's got a cobalt blue base. It you know what this looks like? What does this look like to you? At first I thought it was waves, and then I just looked at it, and I thought I saw penguins. Or some kind. Look at that. See if you can see the name on the bottom of it. Anyway, that is Choice. This one is Glass Eye Studio. And this one is from. No, oh, these are penguins. Are they penguins? You see penguins too, or just because yeah. I told you that? No, they're penguins. they're penguins. This is Glass Eye Studio, and this looks like it, it's kind of like an iris in there. Look at that. This one is Glass Eye Studio. Signed on the bottom, Glass Eye Studio. And then this one is also Glass Eye Studio. This one is from 93. And this one is Glass Eye Studio. So these, these are Glass Eye Studio eggs. Very expensive, solid glass eggs. I can't pronounce. But it's, it looks like they're so hard to read. It looks like W-Y-M-B-U-R-R. -R. And then it's got M-O-W dash sevens dash cm They're, it's a good paperweight and you see penguins and, too yeah it looks like maybe like 70 or something. they definitely have penguins yeah this, if you turn it hold it up and turn it at your head level you will see them at first i saw waves and now i see penguins in there Kathy is at 15. They are three inch eggs. Very good quality glass, very collectible. This one looks like Lynn Burke. Let me see if I can find her. That's what I think it says, Lynn Burke. Well, that may be. These are Glass Eye Studio. That would make sense that it would be Lynn Burke. Glass Eye Studio is, um, has the G-E-S on the bottom. There's another piece that's similar to that I put with it. A little picture, I think. No, I think it's there. Maybe it's a little bowl. It's the same size. Glass Eye Studio. This one says nine. Where is it? Ninety-nine, and this one looks like it's ninety-three. 
And this is also signed Glass Eye Studio. Glass Eye Studio is one of the premier glass houses in the country. Shelly Gibson's at 20. Jamie Haynes is at 22. At first, I thought this was waves, and now that's why I showed Jen because to me, it, they look like penguins. It's so cool. This is also signed by an artist, and I'm sure I'm sure it's a good it's a good name. This collection was just this collector knew what he was doing. Twenty three with Regina. And these are both glass eye. Now this one's a little skinnier egg. It's a little taller than the others. There's a beautiful daisy in there. And you see the texture of the glass. Jamie's at 24. And then this one has what looks to me like a lily. Okay, Jamie Haynes is at 24. Bitter will get choice. Bailey, you good boy. Jamie's at 24. Shelly's at 25. Shelly's at 25. Jamie's at 26. Kath, oh, it, oh, Shelly's at 27. I had to skip by you guys because we had a higher bid. Jamie was at 26. Shelly came in at 27. Now Regina's at 28. There we go. We're right back on track. Regina's at 28. Now Shelly is at 30 for choice. John, can you can you tag Johnny? Who? Johnny. I already tried. Regina is at 32. She, she hasn't looked at anything else. If anybody out there hears from or sees Johnny in anywhere, can you let me know? Very, very concerned about Johnny. Very, very concerned. And keep her in your prayers. Regina's at 32. Uh, looks like everybody is out. Dolores is in at 35. So Dolores is in at 35. We need to hear from Regina. Regina is out. Okay, um, you'll be back up, Regina. Dolores, Dolores, let us know which one you'd like. You can take as many as you want. Hi, Bailey. Must say hello. Must say hello to everybody. Come here. Come here. You can say hello while while Dolores picks out or what she wants. Omar, he's sleepy today. He's sleepy today. Yeah. Okay, Dolores, let us know. Let us know, Dolores. Let us know. <laughs> Show me what you have. Okay. <laughs> we have this one, which is the blue one, and this is signed. John and I think those are penguins. We have the um, Glass Eye Studio uh, White Flower. And then to me, this is a, a, probably a, a, a lily or maybe an orchid, but I'm calling it a lily. And that's Glass Eye Studio. So get your choice of any one. The Glass Eye Studio eggs are a little skinnier. And then this one, it looks like it's called Lynn Burke. I don't know. Oh, this one's a little squattier.
your choice. We'll sell some more Blanco. You didn't see the picture that was this size? No, I did not. Oh, come on. Okay, so uh, Dolores is going to take the ones that we think looks like penguins. And Dolores, when you get that, please let me know if you see penguins in there too. <laughs> and Regina, you are the backup. I'm going to go over and see what I got because we're going to do another Blanco choice. So Dolores takes the blue one. Regina, your choice on the Glass Eye Studio eggs if you want one. Are you going to try these? Like what? That's no problem. Sure. Yep. I I was sitting gonna sit on a couch here, but I was sinking in. And so now I'm sitting on a wood bench and it's tough on the bum. No, that's okay. All right, does anybody else want a glass eye studio egg? $35 is a really good deal for these. And these are only going to be $3 to ship these. So if you want one of these, just tell me which one you want. And they are up for grabs. They are both Glass Eye Studio and they're both marked. They're both signed, I should say. And they're both in the 90s, so they're vintage. So up for grabs if you want them. Glass Eye Studio. We don't get it in here very often. Oh, I don't know if I want to sell those bubble decanters. But we'll put it up, make an offer on those, I think. <laughs> All right, any interest on the Glass Ice Studio eggs? They are sharp. Okay, so Shelly Gibson is going to take the Lily. Thank you, Shelly. I gotcha. And we have the white flower one left. So we have the white floral one left with um, the red. I don't even know how to describe that glass. Look at it. It kind of reminds me of a, a tortoise shell, but it's not tortoise shell color. But that's, a, that's what you see when you look in there, only in pinks. So if you want that one, this is the Glass Eye Studio. This is the one from 1993. Just say you want the white flower. Wait till you see these Blanco decanters. I'm going to go ahead and get us started. Now, on these decanters, um, I am going to put make an offer because they're going to be sold with reserves. So what you do is just bid. And if you hit um, a place where I can accept the bid, then I will say bid accepted and the item will sell. If we don't hit that amount, then it won't sell. So you're not going to be um, you're not going to be on bidding. I don't know how to say it. You can go ahead and bid, and you're not going to be accountable for it until we say bid accepted, if that makes sense. And when we say bid accepted, then um, it is going to sell, okay? So, oh, I'm going to put it down first. This is going to be number 139. Wait till you see these. Wait till you see these. Are you ready for this? Oh, look at this. 
Look at this. Goodness gracious, I cannot believe this. I don't even remember picking this up. This is the Blanco Bubble Decanter in blue. So it's going to be make an offer. And I'm going to, I forgot to put that on the end. I'll do it again. Mid century modern Blanco decanter choice. Make an offer. So, what that means is, or with reserve, it should be. I'm sorry. I'm so excited to have them. It's with reserve. So, you have to let me try to correct that one more time. 139 Blanco. I, I keep getting shorter every time. Decanter with reserve. I finally got it right. So um, what you'll do is bid. And if you are successful or if it's, it's where I can accept the bid, then I will accept it and it will sell. If not, um, I will never actively put it up for sale. So say you bid what whatever and I think I can sell it for that. Then I'll say bid accepted. We'll put the music on and it will go like a regular auction. So these are Blanco, and you are getting your choice of the mid-century modern crackle decanters. These are like gold right now. And I am not kidding you. So I'll measure them. They are nine inches tall. Beautiful crackle finish. John, mm -hmm. Brian said 50. Yeah, I want to give him a chance at. Right. Okay, Brian, you're going to, we're going to go ahead and bid accept it. We'll sell at least one. Okay. So Brian is at 50, bid accepted. So we are going to sell one. And here we go. I am so excited. Someone's going to get one of these. I am not kidding you. We went to a sale yesterday that had Blanco. I couldn't buy a piece of it. And we came up to get an estate. We got the we got the estate and what's in there? Blanco. So I am overjoyed. I'm not kidding you. How much would these have gone yesterday for? A couple hundred dollars. And they are wonderful. Whatever you do, whoever gets one, post it on your Facebook page and give Rosie's Auction House kudos. Joel is at 65. We want everybody to shop here. And look at this. Oh, my gosh. They are just lovely. So you're going to get your choice Blanco decanter. Joel is at 65. We will sell at least one. I don't know if I measured them for you. Again, I'm so excited to have these. They are eight and a half inches, almost nine inches tall. Jill, did you see them? Did I, did I not take your breath away, my niece Jill Coyle? Did I not? Look at this incredible. It is so hot right now, especially with the big stoppers. I know. Dogfish is in at 70. Seventy three with Joel. John, you have to admit you had to be so surprised when you saw those on the table. I had no idea. He he took a little nap after we went out to eat. And um, I couldn't hardly, I wanted to wake him up and show him what I unpacked. I couldn't believe it. 73 with, with uh, Joel, 75 with Dogfish. Seventy-five with the dogfish, and I have no idea which one I would pick myself. 
Joel is out. Dogfish is at 75. I think this is a wonderful deal. I'm going to do a last chance. 75 with dogfish. Okay, all in, all done. I'm daydreaming about them. Dogfish is in at 75. Joel is out. And this is 139. Link of bubble. Canters. All right. What do you think, Jen? Can we put them both up or just one? 75. I'm going to go ahead and let you take as many as you want, dogfish. I'm telling you, it's so cool. So, dogfish, you can take one or two. You can take whatever color you like. It just depends what you want to do. Joel, you're so awesome. Okay, dogfish takes both. Brian, when you get these up at, at your house, you're going to have to take pictures of it and we'll post it on the page. How's that sound? And show them off to all your friends and tell them you got them at Rosie's. <laughs> okay. John, I'm going to let you come get these. Thank you so much. I think I'm becoming addicted to Blanco now. Lots of stoppers. So I would put your hand on the top of them. The, the one thing is, is they're not like the Fenton stoppers are, or the Blanco stoppers are not like Fenton. They don't yeah. stick on there. Okay. Awesome. Wow, that's pretty cool, Bailey. We will, we'll put up some more Blanco. But we're going to do some art glass again next. Now, both of these pieces are signed, um, but I have no idea. Let's see if I can see that one. They're both artists signed. This one looks like Mats or Mots or something. You'll Del Mots. Oh, Del Mott. Now, what is Del Mott or Del? They're both they're both well known artists. This is a Del Mar or Del May or something I don't know, but these are both glass. They're studio glass pieces. This one has a hanging heart, and this one just has some wonderful colors in it. Look at this. This one is signed. I cannot read this one. This one looks like Del Mar or Del Mott, and that one has the hanging hearts. Oh, she's going to love them for her birthday. Brian said his wife's birthday's coming up. She's going to die when she sees those. Oh, my goodness. Okay, 140. Again, when we put up choice, we'll sell at least one. These are studio signed vases. And they are art glass. Look at this. They beautiful. They're about four. They're four and a half to five inches tall. This one has purple on the inside, and this one is the Del, Del Mar. It looks like Del Mar or Del Mott, and this one has the hanging hearts, um, the floating hearts, whatever you want to call it. And Lori is going to start us out at twenty, and here we go. So you will get your choice. Should I throw this egg in for choice? Or just take that? This is a glass eye studio egg that didn't sell. We'll put the egg in there too. So you'll have the choice of the two vases or the egg. That's what we'll do. 
the egg is glass eye studio beautiful color here unusual color it's got a little light purple light lilac on the inside beautiful green and um, there are floating hearts all the way around this one this one has more of a cobalt base the colors are rich and dark bold colors let's say and then we threw in the glass eye studio egg so you'll get your choice Thrift and Lori is at 35. Okay, Joel is out. Thrift and Lori is at 35. Dolores, you're lagging a little bit. 35 is our high bid. Dolores is at 37. So we'll call this one. Uh, we'll just call this one uh, Studio Art. This one is Floating Hearts. And then we have the egg. Dolores is at 37. Thrift and Lori is at 38. Thrift and Lori is at 38. Dolores, let us know. Dolores comes in at 40. Okay, Lori's out. All right. Thanks for what you did do, Lori. Appreciate it. And Dolores, you are the winner. And Lori is our backup. So Dolores, let us know which ones you'd like. The choice is yours. We'll, we'll just call this one Studio Art. We'll call this one Floating Hearts. And then we have the Glass Eye Studio Egg. Just let us know your choice the studio art okay I'm gonna put your name on this one Dolores so that I don't get them mixed up and thrift and Lori you are the backup if you want something Got a pickup over here. The heart vase, Thrift and Lori takes the hanging hearts. And does anybody want the egg? Thrift and Lori. I'm going to put your name on that too, Lori. Um, hang our heart float face 40. Um, those two, I'm afraid they're going to roll into something. 140. Okay. I'm sure Spark is on. Okay, this is what we're going to do with this little egg. Now, we did this this afternoon. We did a Dutch auction, and we're going to do the same thing with the egg. So, for those of you that weren't here this afternoon, what I will do is put this egg up. I'm going to put a um, starting price, and I am going to gradually go down with my numbers. So, if I started at 50, I will talk a little bit, describe it, go down to 49, 48, 47. When you're at a price where you feel comfortable and you want it, 
then all you have to do is say the number. So if you're comfortable at 40, say 40 and it's yours. But somebody can come grab this at any time in between. So uh, depending on where you want it, uh, you might not want to wait too long or somebody will grab it. So we did it this afternoon. I want to do it on this piece. This is the Glass Eye Studio Egg. This is going to be number 141. And we are going to do Dutch. And we're going to, I'm going to start it at 40. So here's what we do. I am going to put 40 in. And if you want it, you can grab it at 40. And I will continue to descend until somebody does pick it up. This is a three and a half inch egg. It is Glass Eye Studio signed. And it is from 1993. It is beautiful with its white daisies. It's a narrow egg, but it's Glass Eye Studio. I have to remember how to do this. <laughs> so just if you want to pick it up at a certain price, right after I put the price down, you will have to you will have to say that number and it'll be yours at that price. So we go down gradually, but the first one to claim it will get it. You just have to say the number after I type it and hope nobody else gets in there before you. So we're at 35 now. This is tricky. You know, I should have you do this on your phone. Yeah, you just go the numbers and I'll highlight you when you do it. You, you can do it. All you got to do is I'm putting 33. You're not bidding because I'm going to highlight you. You want me to do it on my I'm doing this one. Maybe if we do it again, you can do it. We're at 32. You want me to do it on? In... Oh, I see how you're doing it. I can do that. But it's, it's, it's going to show me doing it. Okay, so John's going to come down with the numbers and so that I have a free hand and then I can I can show this. So I'm going to highlight John's number. He is not bidding. So we're at 32 and nobody has picked this up yet. We're going to experiment with this here with him doing it. So when, when I see him comment, I'm going to highlight it. He is not bidding. He is going to act as a moderator. So we're at 32. You can pick it up at any time. I already put 31. All right. There you go. So just grab it when you get down. If it gets down, to, if, if it makes it down to five dollars and you get it for that, you you might get it for that. But then again, somebody might steal it at thirty right out from underneath you. So thirty-one. You gotta go a little faster, John. Glass Eye Studio Quality Egg. Are you doing something? I first put it on. Okay, we'll do it again. We'll go down a little faster. Oh, who did? Who? Somebody got it. All right, that is the winner. Let me know who you are, Facebook user. We have a winner. Facebook user, who got it for thirty dollars? Somebody's not registered with Streamyard. John's gonna look. That's awesome. Thank you. We'll let you know the winner here in a second. Christine came in second. Christine, uh, I see. It's not Christine. Oh, Christine Smith? Okay. Why she must have jumped over to, to, it didn't show the first time. The first time I show this, uh, we're on two Facebook venues. I'll look at the other one. Sandra Newton, that's who it is. Let me look at the other one. Okay, John's just going to verify it. This is 140, 141 is the Glass Eye Studio. Okay, I'll leave with Sandra Newton because Christine, I can see. All right, thanks, Sandra. I will send you your invoice via, via your personal messages. Awesome. We'll do that once in a while. Okay, I have a piece of Fenton here. And um, I'm going to show it to you. Yeah, she was first. Okay, she was first. Um, I saw you, Christine, but we grabbed it from the other venue. Sandra was first. Not my bunch. This is 
an aqua opal basket. It's the cherry chain from Fenton. Extremely rare. I will tell you there is an issue with the handle. The handle is cracked. Um, there is nothing that I'm going to do about it. I am going to sell it. Uh, I will take very great care in packing it. Um, but the basket is so rare. It's just how it is. I'm going to sell it anyway. And I, I'm going to sell it as is. Um, this is a piece that you're just not going to find. And I will be very careful with it. But there it is. You can see the handle. I, I can feel it with my Rhonda. I, I'm going to put as is. Okay. I want you to know it's as is. It's got a crack in the handle. It's got a crack in the handle. So um, I'm not going to count your $50 bid till after I write as is. And then if you want it again, you can you can go ahead and put the 50 okay? Because I don't know if you're hearing my comment about its condition. So this is going to be number 142. It's the, it's the Fenton Aqua Opal Cherry Basket. It is a rare one, but it is as is. It's, it's a crack that you won't see. You have to look for it. You have to look for it. Um, but it's right here. I'm going to support this handle. And um, it's beautiful. You're not going to see it in your collection when you have it in your china cabinet. But you're also probably never going to find this. And if you do find it in perfect condition, it's going to be a fortune. So, Rhonda, I saw your bid before I put as is. Um, I'm going to have you bid again on it because I just want to make I just want to make it clear that it's as is. Okay. So just repeat that. Okay. She says she's going to do 50. Um, and here comes the music. And Sparky is 55. This is 142. It is super huge. I'm going to measure it across for you. 10 inches. Rhonda, I let me know if you meant 59 or 69. Okay, 60. Very big and heavy. There is the issue in the handle. There is a definite crack. I can feel it with my finger. You never want to pick this one up by the handle. And it is as is. 65 Sparky. The sky is the limit if you were to find this basket out in the wild. It's very, very difficult to find. 65 with Sparky. It's still, it, you know, I can't throw it away. It's gorgeous. No. Seventy Rhonda. You know, one of those angry faces is Linda with the long name. We have fat fingers and thumbs. We do it every time. Well, there's been a long time. You never have to worry about that. It's usually Kato. I know. It's usually Kato. Or who else was it that said, or Miss K said she falls asleep and her thumb goes. That, yeah. 72 Sparky. Bailey is sitting by the door. Sparky is at 72. We'll put up another piece of Blanco after this one. 74 with Rhonda. As is condition. Normally, I would not sell a basket if it was if it was as is, but this one is a special one. And it's just I I'm 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 not gonna do that. I will let you know and sell it and you can decide what you want to do with it, but it's beautiful. Sparky's at 76. All right. If this thing would if you were I would say that would be a two hundred and a two hundred dollar basket. Easy. 
maybe more. Congratulations, Barb. Berkey has one of the biggest collections of aqua old black shoes. Yes. All right. And Sparky, I will bring it with us to South Carolina so that I don't have to ship it and it'll get there in one piece. And Rhonda, thank you for the bids. We appreciate it. We'll be on the lookout for another one for you. All right. I have another Blanco piece and I am going to do this one with reserve just because I was, I was really tempted to keep these Blanco pieces for, um, George, the Antique Nomad in Marietta. But I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up and it's going to be the same thing with reserve. And this is going to be 144. And here we go. Look at this. Look at the pinches all the way around. Beautiful crystal handle. This is a water pitcher. It is very heavy. Yeah. It's 10 inches tall. And this this one will be with reserve. Again, Blanco. Oh, Sparky has 25 pieces of Aqua Marigold. Aqua Marigold. What do I keep calling it? Aqua, aqua Opalescent. Aqua Marigold. No, she, Sparky's right. Marigold. Aqua Marigold. This, these are pinches all the way. There's four pinches. It's beautiful green. It's not avocado green either. This is a Kelly green. It's just beautiful with a crystal handle. This is Blanco. And it has the crackle glass, and it is a full water size pitcher. Mid century modern Blanco. And if I spelled it right, there it is. I think I got it right. Oops. So aqua opalescent marigold. So we got it half right. <laughs> anyway, this is beautiful with its pinches. A crystal handle. Blanco is um, Blanco is still in existence. One of the only glass companies that are in existence in the great part of the country where glass houses were everywhere done in Virginia, West Virginia, Ohio Valley. Blanco is still in existence. I think they are in Milton, West Virginia. And Dave Fetty uh, went to work at Blanco Glass first before coming to Fenton. So that tells you how long they've been around. Thank you. Yep. Any interest in this one? I love that. So with reserve, you just bid. And if it's it's high enough for me to accept, I will say bid accepted and the music will go and it'll sell just like a regular auction. I just, I'm putting reserves on some of these pieces because we just really haven't sold, sold a lot of Blanco here. So I'm testing the waters. Beautiful crackle exterior. And it's pinched all the way around and it is a water pitcher. Any interest in that one? Yes, it's crackle. And we do have more pieces. So I will probably be selling a few more pieces. I'll give you just a second here. I'm going to go over and see what I got left. <laughs> Excuse me. In the Blanco. So let me know if you want to start that. Oh, was I going to try with those decanters? Huh? No. I have I have a decanter with a leaf pattern on it that is awesome. All right. Yes, I will go ahead and accept that.
And here comes the music. $60. It is, it is beautiful. Dogfish is at 60. I have I have a Blanco decanter with a leaf app like a leaf um, on on top of the crackle glass. It's amazing. I I can probably put that up. It just depends what time it is, I guess. Sixty dollars with the fish. I do not know about tomorrow morning. I'm thinking right now the 10 at 10. I'm probably, I don't know. What do you think, John? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up for it. Huh? I guess that's it. If you see us at 10 tomorrow, we're on. If not, we'll see you 10 at 10 on Tuesday. <laughs> All right, Dogfish is at 60. It is beautiful. And the pinches give it just that mid-century modern look. So we have $60. We'll do a last chance. There is our bid. Oops. Okay. Anybody else? The dogfish is in at 60, all in, all done. Ooh, dogfish. You got some beauties tonight. Thank you very much. That is lovely. I am so excited for you. Yes. Okay, what we have next. Another fabulous, fabulous mid-century piece. Good Lord is all I can say. Look at the swirling in the center of the pedestal. I think it's Empoli. Yeah. It is absolutely amazing. Look at that. It's Empoli. And it is diamond with that beautiful mid-century teal blue. It has the swirl stem. It is just beautiful. What are we going to do on this one, John? Let him bid on it? No, let him. Oh, with reserve? I was going to say. You're welcome. So this one, we're going to do the same thing just because I have no experience with this. <laughs> um, it, it is gorgeous. And I don't even know what do they, what mid-century name do they put on these things? Like swung bases. They have to be something. I don't know. I'm just going to put in poly. They are hot right now. Yeah, Jill, where's Jill? She can at least give us a clue. I took them off. I just tried to get ahead. Look at how big this is. And the stem is the coolest thing ever. Look, look at the swirls in there. That's all handmade. And it's just beautiful. There is the texture of the bowl. And there's the swirls down the stem. It's an Empoli compote. Thank you, Serena. It is just gorgeous. So we're doing the same thing with this one. It's with reserve. And um, I, love it I do too. The way they it's 15 inches tall and it's just very gorgeous. It's just so elegant and classy. It's it's got um it's mid century but it has such an elegant flair. A lot of the mid century stuff is really chunky, and this one is delicate. You can even see some of the green starting in the swirl. 
at the top from the from the top the teal green you can see it in there it's just so pretty I love this piece Jen I do too I, I was looking at it when I was in there the way the light fits it and the way that that uh, gun is yes I mean it's beautiful 15 inches tall and poly isn't it beautiful Serena says it's an Empoli compote. Get the diamonds in it. I like the shape of I like the shape of the top too. 40. Just a little bit higher. I I I don't I want to go just a little more than 40 on this piece. Look at the workmanship on the stem. It is just beautiful. I couldn't find a flaw in it. Yes, dog, dogfish. I couldn't find a flaw in it. You know. Would would look great filled with sang sangria. <laughs> oh, they're hot right now. I'm telling you. Here we go. I guess you could use it as a drinking glass if that's what you really wanted to do, wa watching The Walking Dead. or the, What is that show? <laughs> you might be able to handle the zombies with a drink out of this. <laughs> the diamond optics is beautiful in the glass. It just is. The, the most impressive thing to me, though, is, is the stem. You, you, it just, it's memorizing. It's, it's gorgeous. $50 with dogfish. Dogfish is at 50. Oh, it's so pretty. This is a great deal for this piece. We're going to do a last chance, and I'm going to show you where we are with our bids. We are at 50 even. Empoli is, of course, made in Italy. That's where so many of the fine glass houses are. 15 inches tall with a diamond pattern bowl. And we have $50. It's in wonderful shape. No chips, no bings, no flea bites. Last chance. All right. Man, is the dogfish scoring tonight. Yay, Brian. Awesome. I am so excited for you. Somebody's going to have a good birthday. <laughs> Two more pickups. Yeah, I'll come get that. Okay. Well, actually, three more. That. Can you believe it tonight? Oh, oh my gosh, Brian. Brian's going to love that. 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 And this. Yeah, come back and get that. But this is. I think this is one of the prettiest. Oh, I do too. That, how they did that. That's just gorgeous. I know it. Oh, this little egg too. So. Okay. okay. So this is a Fenton legendary fashion mirror. And this, a lot of people are looking for this. Um, so I'm going to put it up. And of course, more glass with a puppy on the way. Yay. <gasps> So this is a legendary fashion mirror from Fenton Glass, and this went with the legendary fashion series. Um, a lot of people have lost these through the years, so I'm going to put it up for you. And it, what you do, you put your legendary fashion dress in front of it, and it kind of shows it off. But here it is, and that's what you're getting. And this is going to be number 146.
and I'm gonna let you start it out. There it is. And this is a piece of Fenton. And what I'm gonna do here is measure it from top to bottom. It is a foot tall. So it's gonna sell. And you can see the Fenton logo here, right on the mirror. And it's from the Legendary Fashion Series. A lot of people collect the, the fashions, but they don't have the mirror. So here it is. How much longer are we gonna sell? If you want. How old do you think it is? Um, it's it's probably from the 80s or 90s. Somebody probably can tell us. Sparky, you have you have a couple of the dresses, don't you? How how old is this mirror? I I would guess from the 90s. You get the right person and they really, there's a lot of people looking for that. We just didn't put it on the, well, we're on the Fenton group tonight. Um, oops, let me turn my camera around. What's going on with this? My camera keeps kind of flipping sideways. What are you trying to do? I'm turning it. You get it right? Nope, right there. Okay, any interest in this one? Okay, $20. $20 is big. There it is, there you can see it. Shelly, I see your bid, Joel came in first. This is 146 tonight. So we have to check out tomorrow at noon. So we'll decide about the 10 at 10. If you don't see me tomorrow morning, do not worry about it. Um, you might just want to check when you get up and see if I'm coming on. I'm not real sure. We have about a five, five and a half hour drive home tomorrow. Shelly's at 22. Shelly's at 22, Joel's at 25. It didn't seem like it took took us that long to get here. It can be, it's gonna be, the wind's gonna be back. And always when you go home, it seems faster than when you leave. Joel's at 25. And Shelly is out. Okay. We'll do a last chance. Joel's at 25. Shelly's out. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sell it to Joel. Thanks, Joel. Huh? Yeah, that was a good deal. Okay. Look at this. This is a full-size egg. It is a blown egg. This is a studio art egg. It is signed again. They're so hard to read. But here it is. This is what we are going to be bidding on. This is a studio art egg. It was in the art this art glass collection that we have gotten so many pieces from. Yeah, and it is just beautiful. It is 
six inches tall. Oh, why is it? It must be at least four inches long. Yeah, it is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you're on YouTube and subscribe to the page so you can take advantage of these pop up sales. So, this is a Studio Art egg. This is 147. Iridize to the max. We're going to let you start it. And we, we have another piece of Blanco up next, too. Is it 9.30 or 10.30? It's 10, isn't it? Or it's, is it? Look, look at the workmanship in this egg. Goodness me, it's so pretty. This is a blown egg. You'll see. Um, in there, that's that's where they took the pipe off. It is just gorgeous. It sits nice and flat. Lori is at 15. Studio art and look at the workmanship. There's some very different um, techniques used in this egg. It is a studio art egg. Very expensive when he bought it. And you can see there's a lot of different techniques here. This guy, or Gail, Dave Fetty would be impressed with this. It stands six inches tall. Jamie's at 22. Look at the job this artist has done on this egg. Robert is at 28. Elizabeth Howder is at 25. It is beautiful. 27, Jamie. The colors in it are like a flame. And then a beautiful couple shades of gold, but there's also black and blue in there, and, and you can see some green. But this technique on this outside is just amazing. I I would love to have seen this made. Yeah, that's Jamie, is that 30? It'd be, it must have been, because you've seen Dave do it before. Mm -hmm. And to hold that, the way, you know, the, he did that it's so uniform it's beautiful jamie is at 30. elizabeth and robert let me know robert's out jamie's at 30. we have another beautiful blanco piece coming up robert's out jamie's at 30. we're going to do a last chance remind you of our bid and we are looking for Elizabeth Hauser. Elizabeth, what are you thinking? Elizabeth comes in at 31. All right, 32 with Jamie. Thirty three with Elizabeth. Is it still snowing out there? No, it's super cold. Jamie's at thirty five. It's iridized. You can see different colors depending on how the light hits it. So Jamie's at 35, all in, all done. Oh my gosh, the wheel. I said I was going to get free shipping tonight. And I meant it. So I'm going to update the wheel. We, we're going to sell a few more lots, but man, I just thought about that. Okay, Jamie, you got it. Awesome. Good win. Okay, 148. We have another piece of Blanco. 
And wait till you see this one. And I will update the wheel as we are bidding on this. Um, here we go. This glows cadmium. This is Blanco in the beautiful Amberina. Look at the crackle. It glows, glows the cadmium orange all the way around. It's gorgeous. The rim has it in it. So does the handle, but especially down here. It's all orange. So, yeah, you know what? I'm going to let you guys start this where you want to start it. It's a beautiful piece. Just keep it in mind. I'm good. I'm I I'm still crazy about I'm not sure I want to do this, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take the bid. It is beautiful. Hey John, can you flip flip the light? I'm going to turn the lights off here. We're not familiar with this house very well. So. Look at that. Orange. Look at that. It's cadmium. Okay. Don't let me in the dark. The walking dead are out there. <laughs> All right, let me catch up with the bids here. 35 with Shelly Gibson. 40 with Deborah V. 45 with Shelly Gibson. This is number 148. Uh, 50, I'm going to catch up on the wheel. And there's a lot of catching up to do. So 50, and I'm going to go to the wheel. <gasps> I'll catch up on the bids in a minute. I haven't put anybody in. Gigi, this is her free shipping tonight. You don't necessarily have to be here. Because I realize it's a Sunday night. Christine. Susan. Joel. Deborah V. I almost forgot about this. You guys were letting me forget. Tammy V. Dolores. Shelly. Are you accepting a bid on that, or are you? No, it's. Oh, okay, you just let them. I'm. Yep, I'm trying to do my wheel. Sandra. Thrift and Lori. Sparky. And Jamie. All right, the wheel is all all set up. Okay, let me go back and start collecting bids. Shelly's at fifty-five. Oh, I can probably do this. I can probably do this auction style. Okay, here we go. What do we give? Dog fish is at 47. 47. What do we go? 55. 55. There, got 55. What do we go? 60. I got 60. What do we go? 60 dollars. 60. Deborah V. I got 60. What do we go? 65. 65 is there. I got 65. What do we go? 70. 70 dollars is bid. I got seventy dollars. Anybody want to go seventy-five? Seventy-five. We want to go eighty. Eighty dollars there. All right. Eighty dollars is bid. Anybody want to go eighty-five? Eighty-five is bid. Eighty-five with Shelly. <laughs> I could almost do it. Yeah. They were really going at it when you were doing it. Yes. That's one of the prettiest pieces in the book. 85. Do we have another one? Um, Don't we have two tall pictures? We got this one. Can we do we something with choice? Really big one. Okay. Well, I didn't know. 88 with dogfish? I didn't know if you wanted to go to Let me go. Let me see, Roxy. Oh, I think I put you on second. Yes, Roxy, you're on. Oh, we should have put that in this one. That's okay. No, I don't think so. We do have two more pieces of Blanco we'll put up. Is that, is that it? Oh. Uh, it's getting late. Just, I don't think we're going to put these off. Maybe you can show them. Let me show them. I'm going to show one. Dogfish is at 88. 
I mean, if somebody wants to know what you want to do, that's that's really exceptional. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take those to Marietta. I think. Dogfish is at 88. Um, wait till you see this next decanter with an applied leaf. You're not going to believe the colors. We'll show you. Okay. Night, Jenny. I got you on the wheel, Roxy. Dogfish is at 88. Shelly Gibson, are you out? Just waiting for Shelly. Okay, Shelly's at 90. Shelly is at 90. This one didn't sell, and I don't know what the are. I'll take it home. Okay. I'll put it on our Marietta shelf. Dogfish is at 92. Beautiful piece. Beautiful piece. Shelly, in or out, we, we do have two more coming. There's They're not the same, but we do have two more pieces coming. Shelly's at 100. Jen, is there another water in there? Can I have that tea? Oh, thank you. Shelly's at 100, waiting for dogfish. Dogfish is at 105. So, Shelly, let us know. Dogfish is at 105. Beautiful color. 110. Look at this. One ten with Shelly Gibson. Dogfish, let me know. All in, all done. Okay, we still have active bidding at 115. So dogfish is at 115 waiting for Shelly Gibson. Tell you, that was like 24 out, but it sure feels like cold. Polly said it was 24 at her house, and she lives like, you know, she just lives up the coast. Not very far. Probably 100 miles. But it feels so much colder, 24. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. It's bone chilling. 120 with Shelly. One twenty two with the fish. Dogfish is in at one twenty two. Just beautiful one twenty five with Shelly. Just let us know, Brian. I know I know you got quite a few things tonight. You're thinking. Shelly's at 125. Beautiful color. There's a lot of gold in this one. All in, all done. Still active bidding, 127. Just hold it up there so you can see it. Waiting on Shelly. Oops. Oh, 
Okay, 130. It does glow. It does glow. Shelly is at 130. Dogfish, you're up again. Ah, uh, Bailey needs some biscuit. You gave him some? Yeah, he needs some biscuits. Shelly's at 130. Dogfish is out. Thanks. Thanks, Brian. Thanks for what you did do. Always appreciate the bitters. All right. So, Shelly, you got one. Thanks, Shelly. That is a beautiful one. Okay, I'm going to show you this decanter. I'm really hesitant. I don't think I'm going to put it up tonight. We'll probably save it for another night, or I'm going to take it to Marietta. Um, I was crazy impressed when I saw this. Look at this Blanco decanter with the applied leaf with the lime green and blue. Um, I really have to think about this one. I Oh, the leaf. Look at what is the leaf? It looks green, but when you turn it, yeah, it's blue. And when you and when you is that because the yeah, there's I don't know, I saw that too. Look at this. Okay, the stopper is blue. I the flower is blue, but when you turn it, it looks green. Are the I leaf think what it's doing is picking up the green through the glass? It is amazing. I do have two of these. And it, and so it. I have to think about what I'm gonna do. Um, I, I really want some special pieces when I go to Marietta to sell with George. I would just start with like that. And I think that I'm going to take this. I mean, it's beautiful. And if I were to sell this, I would have to start this at 150. I just don't know what I'm going to do about it. It is amazing. So if, if you wanted to, oh, do I want to start it? Up to you. I mean, I think it's, you got, you got two of them, so you sell one if you want. I don't know. Why not? Everybody's been good. To no. <laughs> you don't know how rare that is. Oh, I know it's really rare. I mean, it is so rare. Did you see anything like it this weekend? No. Not no. With applied, not with an applied piece on it. Mm -mm. Or that color. Dogfish. Started me at 150. Up to you? Yeah, too. I wouldn't sell them as a pair anyway. I'm thinking, Brian. I'm never going to get one again. <sighs> what the hell? <laughs> it's going. <laughs> it's going. You, you, oh my gosh, you just don't know how excited I was when I opened this box and saw this in it because I just forgot totally about it. There were pieces like that that sold for, you know, two to five hundred dollars. Yeah. As nice as that. But they weren't. And they weren't, no, they weren't. They didn't, they weren't like that. They didn't, and they were. I can't hardly talk. I'm so they usually mixed up. Multi colored either. Like with a blue stopper and a green, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, it is just like, it is just like the ultimate pick. No, no, you, you're, you deserve it. You've been bidding tonight. You deserve it. I can't hang on to it. Um, I have one that I will sell this summer with George. I have two of these. So, it's yep. amazing that you have two. It's amazing that I have two. Um, this, I, I just can't get over the fact that I have it because I really, I, when I got this, I liked it because of the color. I had no idea about Blanco and we went to a sale this weekend and you cannot believe the price of pieces that were even similar to this. No, I'm going to take it. I have, to, I have another one. I've got two like this. I'll take one and I'll sell one tonight. Unadvertised. 
I can tell you if I'd advertised this piece, I would have got calls from all over the country. 150 dogfish. It's, it's beautiful. What they're doing with this Blinko is they're taking it from the high end places and so on. Oh, it's like Chicago. They're going to the big, you know, it's going to New York, Chicago, mm -hmm. and they're taking them. Look at that. They're putting them in, in the high end stores in yeah. New York and Chicago. Oh my gosh. This is. This this is very very nice. I mean, you're and not gonna you are not gonna find one. Blanco did some decanters and stuff with applied items on or applied things on them, but most of most of the time they were like dots or splats. They they weren't leaves. Well, and the other thing too, some of Blanco's glass was real thin. This is not thin glass. This is thicker glass, yeah, heavy glass. It's beautiful. Okay, dogfish is in at 150. It is 17 inches tall. I'm going to do a last chance. It is going to find a new home. And this is this is really 400 for the pair. Mm -hmm. Well, he's going to get this for 150 maybe. Yeah, but you, I would sell the pair. I would sell the pair for, I think the pair should go for no less than 450 I was going to say 500 but. I mean, it, it is extraordinary. Yeah. I mean, it's up to you. I will. I I can think about it, dogfish. Like I said, I just found this. Selling Let's sell this one, selling, and then I'll think about it. If he puts a fifty on that, I'll think about it. But I think one of them's worth that. Yeah, I do too. I really. I do. couldn't even find. I think it. one of them's worth that easily. Okay, one fifty is bid. Anybody else? And the leaf, I'm not kidding you. I don't know if it's because it's on the color green and there's some yellow in there. It turns from green. And as you look at it sideways, it turns blue. It I is just it's because awesome. Because it's catching that green glass. Yes. On that back side. Last chance. 150 is bid. All in, all done. What a great investment oh my god this is this is like investment to the max yeah. and and i'm not, you know i've been an auctioneer for a long time and i am telling you this is where it's at right now you cannot go wrong 150 is bid anybody else this is number 149 oh he did Okay. Okay, well, Brian, you got it. He's got great. a new home. Look at that. Great. Great. I can almost hear him going, "Oh, <laughs> did you score tonight?" Oh my gosh! Everybody, give a thumbs up for Dogfish. You did awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I am so happy for you. Look at that. Look at that color green. Mm -hmm. Just amazing. Oh. Brian, I'm going to consider that offer for the pair. I really am. But in a way, I, I'd like to see George look at that. I feel like I'm so, I think I need something like that to, I don't know. Let me think about it. Okay. Um, we only have a couple pieces here left in this bunch for tonight. And this is, an <laughs> you're so excited. I can't even imagine because I'm not into mid-century that much. I mean, I like it, but that piece is exceptional. I think that's the best piece I've sold in the last 12 months. All right. This, I, I'm so excited I can't even type. So here we have another mid-century Blanco pitcher. And this one is also in the beautiful cadmium um, amberina glow. And, and look at, look at this, look at this handle. We'll turn the lights off in a minute, but I'll get you started with this. Look at the shape of this. This is so mid-century. This one is heavy. And we're 
going to go ahead and there it is and mary's going to start us off at 30 and here we go so this one is a very very popular mid-century style this has the sleek lines the contemporary lines the modernistic lines it is very red it has a yellow handle that's the amberina john can you flip the light Oh, he just sat down, he said. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. I'm afraid if I get up, I'll trip on everything coming back. There's the there's the glow. It's on the handle. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So from the very tip top of the spout, it is... 12 and a half inches tall. Mary is in at 30. <clears throat> Sleek, bold lines. This is very contemporary for its time. You can, it almost you it just looks 60s. $30 is bid with Mary. This is a heavy piece. What else do we have up over there? I've got a Fenton butterfly. Okay. Okay. Whatever you got left is right there beside you. Okay. 35 with Deborah V. We've been on for three hours now. <laughs> uh, so again, um, we're going to do the 10 at 10s um, this week. I don't know about tomorrow. Um, I'm kind of thinking I'm not going to go on tomorrow just so that I can get everything packed and out of here. Just relax a little bit in the morning. $35 with Deborah. Mary, let us know if you're in or out. Mary's at 37 I see there's a nice box out of there that's, out there that's got a nice assortment for the 10 at 10s. A lot of smalls. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll take that home so we can do it Tuesday. Mary's at 37. Deborah um, comes in at 40. We have a few pieces. I think we're going to do Dutch style um, at the end here. And after we do those, then we will draw for free shipping. And if you're not in the house, I'm still going to give you free shipping. Okay. <clears throat> Mary is at 42. This is a big picture. It's a heavy picture. The handle glows cadmium. It's a glow getter. 45 with the fish. Deborah, he beat ya. Brian's in at 45. Mary. Deborah, let us know. I love the shape of this. Forty-seven with Mary. Fifty with Deborah. Deborah is at fifty. Waiting for Mary and the dogfish. It is beautiful. Deborah is at 50. Mary, let us know. Um, Mary's in at 53. Mary's in at 53. Dogfish is in at 55.
Deborah's out, okay? We'll do a last chance. And Dogfish is in at 50. Johnny! Oh, good gracious. Good gracious. I have been worried sick about you, sweetie. Hi, Johnny. Mary is at 60. Johnny just said hello. You've been, I've been worried sick about you, girl. Dogfish is at 65. Dogfish is in at 65. Mary, let us know. Okay, we're just waiting for Mary. And Mary's out. Okay. And it is sold to Dogfish. He's going to be able to start his own mid-century shop tonight with all the stuff he's got. Okay. That is 150. Number 150, the Blanco Pitcher. 65. Hey, John. You have to do, we're going to do the, um, we're going to do the Dutch auction. So I need you on your phone. Okay. You got out yesterday. Oh, Jenny has been, um, she's not been that feeling well with pneumonia. And, um, you scared me, Johnny. I did not hear from you for a couple of days and I was, I've really, really been worried. I am so glad that you were out. I'm so glad that you are out. So we are going to do the last few items, the new Dutch style way. Well, it's not really new. We we did Dutch auctions probably three or four years ago, but I've got um, a few items left. We're going to do them Dutch style. I'm just waiting for John. Well, I, I guess I can get started. So we just, we did one earlier. We're going to do it again. And I'm going to start with, we have two pieces of Blanco left, and what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put, like I always do, the item number and what it is, I'm going to put uh, a number there. Now, that number is where our bid is going to come down, okay? So we're going to keep going down, keep going down at a steady pace. When you want to bid, when you want to bid, you just yell the number that has just descended, and it's yours for that bid. Are you ready, John? Thanks, so John is going to be the one that counts down, and um, he will he will uh, count down kind of consistently. And when it gets to a point that you want it, then you grab it. Um, be aware, somebody could take it at any time. Um, but that's that's the name of the game when you do the Dutch style or my Dutch style. Okay. <laughs> um, so this is a Blanco picture. And I'm going to put 60. Now, now, John will start. I will highlight when he goes down so everybody sees it. He will start counting down every few seconds. And when you decide that you want it, you grab it. This is, and you can't say want. You have to say the number that I have just posted. This is a tangerine Blanco mid-century modern pitcher. And it is 8 inches tall. So I will keep highlighting the bids. When you when you decide that you want it, you grab it. It might go down, might go down to 10 bucks. Who knows? Then again, you might lose it at 57. I mean, you never know. It is beautiful in tangerine. This will blow cadmium. And it is a little bit shorter than the other ones that we've had tonight. In beautiful clap, crack of glass and tangerine. So we are selling this Dutch style. And when he hits your magic number, you can go ahead and just holler out the number to us. And we will sell it to you. Mid-century modern tangerine. Keep going, Jen. 
It is at 55 now as we descend. Beautiful yellow handle and base, tangerine color. So mid-century, this is Blanco. You can go a little faster. Okay. He's going pretty quick. That's the name of the game. He's going to go quick. Jen, you got to go faster. Oh, he can only go so fast. Well, let me do We're experimenting with this. 52. There it is. Look how pretty that is. You can grab it anytime you want. There we go. He's picking up speed. Just if when it gets to the point that you want it, just grab it. Well, I took it at 46. I skipped 45. Okay. Joel, you got it at 46, but you have to claim the number. Joel is first. Okay. So, so Joel, you got it. Rockfish was right after him, but Joel was first. Okay. So 151 is Joel, and he gets the Blanco pitcher, and he got it for 46. Okay, we're going to do that with another piece of Blanco here. And it's going to be 152. And we'll try to, we'll try to speed this up this time, we'll go a little faster. Um, this is 152. You'll get it. We'll, we'll accept it this time, Joel, because you were first. Um, but... Because of the lag and because of the nature of it, just holler the number. All right, here we go. Um, we're going to do this piece of Blanco. That glows this one glows too, yep. In fact, it glows. Yes, it does. It glow, it, this one glows too. Okay. So this is the next item. This is Blanco. And this one is going to be 152. And this is Dutch style. Um, we're going to start it at 35. That's okay. I haven't done this way of selling in a long time. Okay, so we're I'm, we're starting it at 35 and going down, and we'll and John will take us down. So this one glows cadmium. It's the crackle tangerine. It's got the applied ribbon or applied swirls around the base of it. And it also has a ring around the top. It is mid-century Blanco. I'll measure it for you. It is four <laughs> inches tall. My fingers are too thick. So you can claim it. Um, Shelly, you got to claim the number. Are you claiming 32? I'm going to let you ride, Shelly. you got to claim the number. Shelly must be on. It is item number 151, but okay. If she did it, she got it. I, Delore, well, let me see. Delore, it's got, oh, I'm going to, Shelly said 152, so I'm going to give it to Shelly. I'm sure that's what she meant because she went right under the 32. We're gonna do it to Shelly, but try to do try to do the number that it's selling for, okay? Okay. So Shelly got the Blanco vase, and she got it for thirty-two. All right, we're gonna sell a few more items this way, and then we'll be done for the night. Um, we have a Fenton butterfly, and this is and going to nice be. Mm -hmm. Make sure you show that. Here, let me take some of that stuff. 
Okay. So this is going to be number 153. This is a Fenton butterfly. And we are going to start this at 50. And here it is. So don't don't do the 153. Do the, the number amount that John does. Repeat that. Well, you know, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know why. It, it doesn't matter. It's the first one that claims it under the number, okay? Mm -hmm. It's, you're going to have the number up there. That's fine, Shelly. We're just thinking this through because it's been a long time since I did it. So all you have to do is say you, you'll take it and it'll be under the number. So what color is that? This is a carnival. This is like a gold, a marigold, they call it. I see a lot of blue. So you're supposed to be doing a job. Did you start it? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> 50. I didn't know. That's okay. You can just say one. And if you're, un you're under the nearest number, that's where you'll get it. I'm just thinking about the lag and everything. I got to figure out how to do how we used to do it. Okay, That's so here we go down. This is Carnival, and it is Fenton. It looks, has the logo. It looks really dull colored, and that's not the case. No, I think this is like this is what they call a black marigold color. Beautiful. Okay. It's not showing And it is Fenton. Are you dropping? Oh, there we are. Where are you? You know, if you flip that big light off, it might show better with just the light. I'll I'll get up and do that for you. <laughs> Let me see if I flip them. You go away from there. I can't see the signal. I'm not going to put anything on until you get back. I'm going to see if this will help it a little bit. <laughs> So as we go down, just you, you all you got to do, I think it's okay if you just say you, you want it after the bid, the first one that says it will take it. We, we don't have to worry about numbers. I don't know what I was thinking. So I think you can see the color a little bit better that way. I think they call this a black marigold, but it is a carnival glass and it is Fenton. So as he goes down, it's a price that you want to pay. Just flip that. Just say want or say the number or the item number. Any of them will work. Just keep in mind, anybody could jump in at any time. We're at 38 right now. Look at the color on that. It is gorgeous. Boy, it's awful quiet out there. When we do this, you notice there's no talking? I know. <laughs> Everybody's just watching. Everybody's just watching with bated breath. It's such a pretty color. It kind of looks like, um, I always say it looks like liquid metal, but I think that this um, Fenton calls this either purple carnival or black carnival. All right, there we go. Catherine Price, 35, okay. We got it. Catherine Pace. Okay, Catherine, can you send me hello in Messenger? You definitely got that one. And if you sent me a hello in Messenger, I'll be able to find you and I will bill you for that. And the shipping on a butterfly like that is only $3. And I'll invoice you when I get home tomorrow night, probably. Tomorrow night or the next day, okay? And thank you very much. Okay, here we go again. This is a piece of pottery. This is a signed piece. I This is signed and it says J.S. And I think this is, um, I thought this was like Indian pottery, but I'm not sure. It's a signed pottery piece. Came with the collection that we had 
got from the studio glass. It's very nice. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make this number, let's see, 155. And we will start this at 35. We're doing a Dutch auction, so we're going down. We're going down. This is signed at the bottom, JB. I got it with a piece of Indian pottery. I don't, I don't really know what this is, but it is a signed piece, and it is six inches tall. And we are going down. Look at the dragonfly. This is pottery. This is pottery and it's so cute. He's kind of, he's kind of almost whimsical. If you know somebody like that likes dragonflies. Six inches tall in perfect shape. There is the Hallmark signature on the bottom. And it is pottery. The colors are so bright and happy. So as he comes down, when he gets to a price that, that you're agreeable to, just repeat the price. As we ascend, goes down and down she goes. Greens, purples, and there's a the little blues in the dragonfly. This is a handmade piece. This is a studio art piece, and it is signed. Beautiful dragonfly, about six and a half inches tall. And here we go down. You're probably going to want to do some research on this one. Looks like the initials are JB on the bottom. 26. As it goes down. That is funny. It, do, it does. Nobody talks. We're just getting tired here. So we're doing this because it's a little bit quicker. And when we do, when we sell like this, okay, Johnny grabbed it at 26. When we sell like that, we don't have to ask for a backup bidder. Oh, there's my girl, Johnny. Are you relieved to see Johnny? I am. Yes. We've been so worried about it. So worried. I mean, really worried. Okay, you got it, Johnny. Is she home now? She's home now. All right. All right. We have this Fenton Mother's Day plate. Fenton Mother's Day plate. This is hand painted by Bev Cumberledge. Beautiful plate from 1980. And this one glows. Glows like crazy. Yeah. I'll turn off the light. It really glows. It really glows. Look at that glow. Oh my goodness, it glows. Okay. So this one is going to be number 156. And here we go. Um, it's a mother stick. It's it's a little bird plate. What kind of flowers is it? Or is that apple blossom? Kind of like I don't know. Gotcha. We will talk. Johnny, I'm going to be driving all day tomorrow if you want to give me a call. Okay, so this is going to be, uh, let's start this at 35. And this is Dutch, so we're going to go down. There it is. It is Fenton glass with a cute little bird on it. Here is the hand signature on the back. Bev Cumberledge. As we go down. Just claim the price if, that you want to pay. I will measure it across for you. It's from Mother's Day, 1980. It's eight inches across. These are very limited edition pieces. It is a glow getter, that's for sure. $30 is where we're at. We're still descending. Eight inches across. I don't know what kind of flower that is. It's like a 
some kind of a little bell flower. Sweetest can be this little glow in your cabinet. <laughs> is it hard to do? <laughs> it is a my phone. I mean, just, you know, I mean, it's not We're selling the last couple items Dutch style tonight. So um, as it goes down. Oops, I hit the. I hit the. The bird is just so sweet. You never know. Somebody could pop in there at any time. Eight inches across. It glows. It glows to the max. It glows. Down and down and down she goes. Where it stops, nobody knows. Huh? You got to know how to count backwards. <laughs> yeah. Just saying, John. <laughs> I only went to Homer. Yep. Great. Okay, we're at 20 bucks now. It's going to sell. So it's just a matter of when. When is somebody going to pop in there? It's getting dangerous now. <laughs> All right. Sue Lowe, $20. Thank you, Sue. That one is, what did we say that was? 156. 327. 56. The bird plate. 20 even. Gotcha, Sue. I don't want to do that yet. I want to research that a little bit. It's a different shape. So this is going to, is this our last one? If you're not doing that one. Okay. This one is a piece of Indian pottery, I think. It's signed with the artist on the bottom. And it's, it's got very cool colors. This is going to be our last item, and then we'll draw for free shipping tonight. And this is going to be one fifty-four. It is signed. I thought it. I thought I got this as Indian. I got it with the dragonfly. Um, and so let's go ahead, and we'll start this one at twenty-five and go down. And then we'll do the free shipping when we get done with this one. This one is five inches tall. Lots of beautiful colors here. And it is signed by the artist. I guess I lost my counter downer. My counter downer. Where did, it, where did you go? I'll just do it. So again, just name the price that you want to take it at. And the first one that is at the highest price will win it. And it is going down, 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 down. You're going to have to do your research on this one. It does have a signature. And it was sold at this exclusive sale that we were at. All right, Joel gets it for 22 And that one is 154 And thanks, Joel. Okay. So I, I kind of like the Dutch style. We're going to bring it back on nights when we're tired like that. We're getting towards the end. Or maybe we'll do that occasionally in the morning. Um, but it's kind of fun when you're getting down to the end and you want to move things out a little more quicker. So, okay. I'm going to make sure that I have everybody's name on the wheel. I'll share the wheel with, wheel with you. Just like we do in the morning, we're going to do free shipping tonight. I just want to make sure I put Sue Lowe on and um, Johnny. 
And I think I have everybody else. So if you don't see your name on here, uh, make sure you tell me that. And I will put your name on double next time. So let's share the screen and let's do the free shipping. Here we are. Now this does not include Linda's, our Seeds of Hope um, winners. I didn't do that. This is just for um, the sale tonight here. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. You don't have to be here to win. Remember, I'll go ahead and honor it anyway. It's a Sunday night. Tammy V gets free shipping tonight. On her lion. Free shipping for Tammy V. All right. That was fun. That was. I had a good night tonight. That was fun. Brian got it. Brian. Spectacular piece of glass. Oh, my um, gosh. John, he got. I know. Like, he did really good. He got he tons of stuff. Really so I hope you like that way of selling. It's a little different. We're not going to do it all the time. But um, we will do it. We'll incorporate it a little bit more um, in what we've been doing. We're going to take off. I really think tomorrow I'm just going to sleep in and get ready to leave here tomorrow. So there will be no 10 at 10 tomorrow. We'll, we'll resume the 10 at 10s on Tuesday. We've had a big day today. Um, I think tomorrow's a day off on Tuesday. I think Bobby is coming on Tuesday night. So um, we will see you Tuesday morning. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I want to thank everybody that yes. donated to the Seeds of Hope. Thank you so um, much. We appreciate it. Yep. We really the, the artists are appreciative. We are appreciative. And UNICEF will be appreciative too. Um, and we will talk to you very soon. Okay. Have a wonderful night. And I hope you had a great weekend. Night, night, everybody. Good night.